All right, all right, all right. We are live. Doesn't look like nobody's in here yet, but we're live. Uh, we'll get some people in here right quick in just a minute. The uh, hope the little thumbnail didn't fool you. Bob's the one out there fishing. I ain't quite got good enough or well enough to go fishing yet. Did go to the doctor today and got some good news on that. Hello, whoever just came in, but uh. I'm not able to fish. Bob will be in here in just a minute. He's out on Tennessee River, and possibly we're going to get Jody and Brandon in separate boats also. So hopefully we'll get some stuff going here uh, in just a few minutes. Sent Bob. I may have to call him here in just a minute. I sent him a message or sent him the link. He's got it, so he'll be coming in in just a minute. Uh, yep, great deal, Joe. Appreciate you, buddy. He's the first one in, too. Uh, doctor said everything's healing well. I've got to go to uh, physical therapy. I always figure physical therapy means we're going to fight with somebody. I don't know. I know one thing, you get twisted me and turning me around too much. I know there's going to be a big fight for sure. There's Mr. Bob in the house. I had to stream. What's up, Bob? What's going on, Darrell? Hey, not much. Uh, the thumbnail sort of lied just a little bit. Hey, Jim. Hey, Miss Christy. I guess the thumbnail sort of lied just a little bit. I'm going to put you on screen to yourself, Bob. So, just a second. There you go. Bob's out there. All right. So, Bob, tell them what, how, how the music communication got started on, on this thing, that you're actually not drifting with chicken. Well, I've got chicken on the boat, and I was drifting with chicken and wasn't catching nothing, and I started – fishing for skipjack while i was uh drifting and started catching white bass so you know what i did i put the chicken away and i'm fishing for white bass now in other words you changed gears in midstream that's right I, i've got a i've got a sweet couple at church that's been wanting some fish to eat and these little fat white bass are up here at the dam so i'm i'm fetching them some eaters absolutely and guys hey that's the way it works sometimes when you're fishing and something don't work out go a different way what's up mr chad Ch chad and mr rex right and, hey jim how are you doing uh yeah i've, I've done that plenty of times just change the gears because hey when you go fishing you hate to go out there and not start catching something so it sounds well, like wild bass are a hoot to catch absolutely those are some fighting fish I always, an uh, old man told me one time, he said, if the dogwoods are blooming, the, the white bass are running up the river. And I found that to be true. They've been running, what, for about two weeks now, I think. Two, three yeah. weeks. For last, last, well, about two weeks ago was coming real hard. I think it's probably going to be telling off for long. But anyway, Chad said he's headed to hit, to my do daughter's concert. Well, well, maybe it'll be a good one. Hope she. I have it. a lot of them to go to. My my youngins are grown up. Hey, who's up there in that house above you there, Bob? What's his name? Who on who lives uh, up there? I don't know who's in the house, but uh, Aaron's over there trying to catch bait. Uh, oh lord! The, the guy on the Tennessee River. He's uh, he's been throwing a cast net and swinging the rod. He's looking for bait for tomorrow's trip. He's a, he's a darn good guy. Yeah. Mr. Aaron Massey, guys. If anybody comes to Tennessee River and wants a, a guide. Either Joe or Aaron, those are two good guys, and they're 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 nice guys too. Uh, Roger said, "Do you ever notice that when the white bass are in the thick, the skipjack are scarce?" Yep. Yeah, the, I think they outcompete the skipjack or something. Yeah, that's for sure. But that's all right. Hey, you can get a good uh, white bass. They're pretty bloody too. So. Yeah, I've caught some footballs tonight. Awesome. I, know, uh, I don't like using them for bait, but uh, they're not bad eating as long as you get all that red meat out of them. Brandon loves fishing with them. I mean, yeah, everybody knows his shizzle, but he loves it. What's up, Steve? How you doing? Ransom? We got nine people in here that's not got nothing to do tonight, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> it must be they're hitting down there underneath the power lines more than up right up at the dam. Yeah, said, they... They've, they've been stacked on this break right here. Uh, I come through here earlier and going back upstream, and right where it breaks into the deep water, they're just kind of hanging out here. I haven't caught one in the last few casts, but I'm, I'll show you what I got in the cooler. I've got some footballs in there, too. 
I heard that. Hey, uh, Team Snag and Whiskers, I guess it's Dustin. I, I didn't say I was fishing. I just said fish freelining, and he was, but he wasn't doing any good, so he swapped over and started catching some white bass. I'm not quite well enough to go yet. Oh, that's some nice one. Hot yeah, days. Yeah. Hey, there's one of them still kicking. They're all still kicking. There you go. There's more under the ice. I'm gonna That's bless nice. my I'm gonna bless my friends with a good haul of white bass. There you go. Yeah, there you go. But no, I was I, I I'm not quite well enough to go out yet. Hopefully I'm gonna try next week. Yeah, next week. So there's Dustin. Yep. Dustin, I, I wished I could go again, but I'm just not quite well. I went to the doctor today and uh, he's sending me to physical therapy, but I guarantee you this much. If I, if good, wood, good Lord's will and the creek don't rise and we're still all alive and I ain't in a horse spill, I'm going fishing after it quits raining next week. What you fishing with, Bob? I'm fishing with a silver foley spoon. I've tried three different colors tonight and they seem to want the silver. Awesome. Got 12 people in the house, guys. If you don't mind, hit the thumbs up. And, uh, hey, share us out, too. We're going to be in here a little while this evening. Brandon uh, Fish Shizzle, he's, he's thinking about going and do uh, – what kind of fishing was it he's going to do, Bob? He's thinking about doing? I don't know. Yeah, I think he's going to get some fish sticks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, what is it? What's some dang th things with a long snout? What do you call them things? Oh, paddle fish. He's going to try to go snag a paddle fish. Yeah, he's thinking about trying to snag a paddle fish today. So, let me come that in here and watch you. Huh? Is that even legal? Oh, yeah. That's the way, that's the way it, there's a season. It only lasts like six or eight weeks. And I that's got, how you catch them. That's legal. I got three chargers in this boat, and I can't get near one of them to work. How pathetic is that? <laughs> well, that's not good. You won't be on long. You won't be on long. Uh, Brandon said, I was just uh, giving Bob a hard time. Glad you're feeling better. Hope you heal up quickly. It's been sort of a slow process, but I'm getting there. And now I put the net in my way, you big dummy. <laughs> Muskrat said his rivers went from 14 and a half feet to 32 feet this week. Well, I don't well, know. I if we get some of that rain down here, some of that water. Yeah, y'all must have not got any up that way. We got a good rain over the weekend, and I figured they'd be running water. I looked, and they're still at 8,000. Ain't got nothing. They, they ain't enough to bump. They barely enough to free line drift up here. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah, Aaron's up there getting my white bass before they get to me now. He wouldn't put up in front of me. I'll tell you what a guy. Hey, what a go, what a go up there. Yeah, go up there and get in front of him. I'll see a good file. Uh, he whipped me. Miss Christie's in here with us. Catfish Hunters TV, Dragon Chick. Well, he was dragging. He wasn't catching any, doing any good, so he thought he'd try to get some skip jack and, and started catching white bass. And so I guess we're watching. Yeah, I guess we're watching him uh, catch white bass. <laughs> That's all right. Somebody's fishing. Roger said that they're at 44K, 144K right at, at, there at where he's at. Good Lord. Uh -huh. I noticed Mike Greenwell was bumping today. I got, I got jealous. Chris Souders was live and he was bumping. I saw I that. Bumping and I don't get to bump. I saw that. I bet they're way downstream if they're running uh, 144K. Oh, man, they ain't been here, though. Uh, John said it, he hadn't done any good today either. Yeah, there was a, there was a couple that taken out as i was putting in and they said they caught one fish yeah i don't know if i told was him john. it was too early in the day for skipjack no it wasn't john okay he said there's after skipjack i said you was fishing for skipjack way too early yeah or way too late one yeah you won't they Get don't them start early by eight o'clock yeah early in the morning or late in the afternoon about the next hour yeah Seems like they've been turning on lighter and lighter. I'm just hey, happy to be out on the water. I don't care what I'm doing. 
Thank you, Mr. River Rat 3030. He said, hello, Bob, Bob Cat, Mr. Daryl, and everyone liked and shared out. Thank you. We appreciate that. Aaron's, cool. got, Aaron's got one on. He got him a whitey. Yep. He got him a little whitey. Yeah. He keeps catching fish. I'm going to turn the camera and put it on him. I just go look, cut him off. I dare you cut him off. I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna go up there where he's at. Watch him. Watch him. I mean, you did donuts around me the other day. I, one of these days, somebody's gonna get you that don't know it's you, and they're gonna whoop you from one end of that damn to the other. Oh Everybody man! Better tangle with a bobcat. <laughs> John said they even tried bluegills and not a not even a nibble today. Oh, there's one fish on. Hey, I left both my life jackets in Brandon's boat, and I'm wearing a I'm having to wear an old thick foam life jacket because I left both my inflatables in his boat. You tell him bring me my life jacket. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> Roger said, "Well, whose fault is it you left it in the boat? You or he is now? Wait a minute. There you, you go. Got a little, oh, there we go. A little fatty." Alrighty. Yeah, Roger said it warms my heart to see Bobcat out on the water. Boy, it does warm mine too. I out thought there, he's, a, he's got a couple of flays on him. Yeah, oh, yeah, a good back on him. There you go, keep the bloody side out. John said he's glad he's not the only one on the struggle bus. I don't think. Uh, uh, it's the whole river right now, man. It's yep. I don't know. It's just out of tune or something. I think up on lake. No water. Yeah, I think you're gonna be better up on lake than the river right now with just eight thousand. I mean, it's been running eight thousand for weeks too. Well, I was, I was thinking about going up there and pulling boards. There you got him another one on. Aaron Steve, got one on. Yeah, Steve said. Steve Ransom said, uh, "What do y'all like watching better, lives or edits?" It's cordon if I want to learn. If I'm trying to learn a, a play, an area that I haven't ever fished and don't know, you know, sort of how they're doing, I'll go watch edited videos just to, to study and learn sort of how they, they're fishing in the area I'm going to. But I like to watch some lives a lot. Uh, if I got time lately between me and my knee surgery and the gang, the gang kid, I ain't had time. No, good Lord. What do you call that, Bob? Oh, I know what you call yes. that. Yes. <laughs> well, if I'm, if I'm, uh, if I got some time to sit down and watch the big TV, I'll, I'll sit down and watch it an edited video. But if I'm, if I'm just being social, I'll stop into somebody's live and say hi. That's I think well. they both have their place. Right. Yeah. I, 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 I really think. Watch no six hour long live. Yeah, and of course now, if you want to get educational, a lot of these guys that does these nightly shows, uh, you know, you'll learn a lot there. Oh, yeah, but, I, yeah. but I'm talking about if you're fi different areas, fish different ways. Everybody's got to know one on. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. I love catching these things on braid. John said he fished three coves and nothing. Uh, Mark like up on the lake. It's evidently Martin like crazy. Did you fish? Uh, did you fish out of coming out of a uh, what's the name of that dang campground we've had together? Right now? Chester Frost. Chester Frost. Did you pull Chester Frost? I, I think that'd be a good place to drag out of. I can't never take the names. That's a nice. He broke his lines are broke all to pieces. You mm -hmm. try to follow the dots on him. I guarantee that's gonna make some kind of picture. Hey, Aaron with another one. Yeah. Hey, we're, at, but at least we've got we're putting fish in on the boat that's on right. the line. Hey, that's my fish, Aaron. Tell him you got that. Tell him that, that I said that's posted down there. That that I, I, you're the only one I gave permission to fish it. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad he's getting some bait. He's probably got a trip tomorrow. They didn't go all the way up there, so. John them didn't go up to Cheshire Frost. Oh, there's another one. They got another one. So they drug the island looking for shallow cats ready to spawn. That's smaller guy. They fun though, man. Oh gosh. Yeah. I don't think is there a limit on white bass up there? I don't, I don't know. know. 
Somebody better check for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's another football. It's another shut up, Daryl. Don't be bringing that stuff up we know nothing about. There is. I might have to start calling. Don't you get me. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. yeah these things are fun to catch. Oh, they fight like Good they're eating Fishing with Miss Elsa. I watch any videos when there aren't any lines, but if I miss a live, I'm almost never go back to watch it. Yeah, that's that's me. Unless there's something on there I wanted to see. I do go back on some lives. I tell you, I've had to I've had to throw up stream all night and slow my retrieve down. It seemed like they're they're deeper. Yeah. Well, I guess there went that theory that I thought they were biting better up on lakes since John was up there, and sounds like they hit all the spots for the first five miles up the river anyway. There's another dead catfish, I swear, man. I've been seeing them things everywhere. Oh, Small, don't make that. that don't sound Small good. Cat. Boy, hey, got a good one on. You can always catch a, paddle, a, a paddlefish doing what you're doing also. Yeah. You never know. It's fun to hook in one of them on a 20-pound braid. God, Joe Ziegler said he caught a 31 pound striper fishing for white bass one time. I caught a 25 pounder last year bumping up here. Yeah. That was fun. I wow. knew it wasn't a catfish. He he hit that bait and he ran straight sideways. I was right. like, oh, that ain't a cat. Roger, I've heard them called wipers before also. Yeah, Aaron. Aaron. He towed around, and then he seen me catching, and he got over here on this edge line with me. What's up, Nate? Good to see you in there. Thanks for dropping by. Folks, hit the Good thumbs evening, up. Nate. If you guys don't mind, hit the thumbs up. And uh, Jody said, guess who got her boat? Are you going to the river, Jody? If you are, join us. I sent you a, a link, you and Brando a link. So well, I hope she got her boat. Right. I think she should turn, go come into the lab before she ever even tries to crank it up, don't you? <laughs> well, she's she's about three dollars and fifty cent uh, broker today. Yeah. Man. Got her fly fishing for trout. I see, you know he comes <laughs> up there. He fishes for uh, uh, skipjack with that fly rod. Also, there's several people up here fly fishing. Yeah, I know. When they catch one, it's cool to watch them try to bring them in. Yeah, it looks like he's throwing a stringer. Well, maybe he's trying to get them all in line if he's throwing a stringer. <laughs> stringer. <laughs> Don't let that come out your nose, Bob. Right. <laughs> hey, man, they're just tearing them up. I'm going to start getting closer to him. I'm telling you, get down there. If I, he jumped up there around you. I'd go down there and get on top of him. Tell him that okay. you're, you're doing a live. You're more important than he is. He's breaking the net out on him, man. I'm going to start easing up our towards him. Okay. Joe says a wiper is a, a, a hybrid that's a, between a white, white bass, bass and, and striper. Yeah. But those won't breed in the river. I mean, that, those, are, those are man made, ain't they? far as i know you i don't think those actually breed they could be somebody straight me out if i'm wrong but i was thinking a hybrid they have to just continuously stock them i was wrong about 20 years ago and that's been the last time so but i i guess that's why they call them a hybrid ain't it uh oh you're cutting in and out oh that phone ain't going dead on you i don't know it's plugged up Well, I'll tell you one thing. Today's been nice compared to the last four days. Good. Lord. Oh, yeah. The wind. I'm so glad the wind finally laid down. I know. It's been just blowing here at the house like crazy. That's yeah. that, That's been a bad thing. I can't go fishing. I can't dang. Uh, I can't go fishing. I couldn't get outside because the wind was blowing so dang hard. And everything around my house is steps. I had my bedroom's up a flight of steps. And then my house is up off the ground, so I have to go a flight of steps to get off it. It's just like, what I do? <laughs> what I do? 
I have gotten down and out a couple of times. I ain't gonna lie about it, but yeah, you gotta keep your chin up. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little better, so I'm feeling I actually can walk uh, steps. I can go up steps totally normal without trying to, you know, one step them. Going Health down. Problems. Yeah. Well, Roger said something I did not write. He said they will reproduce. I yeah, did I'm not gonna, think. Go over here and talk to Aaron in a minute. Okay. You gonna go over and try to get get Aaron to tell him the good spots? Aaron, don't listen to him. He gets over there unless he mutes my sound. I'm gonna be talking to Aaron. Uh, if you can hear me, fifteen white bass in Tennessee is all you can have, Bob. Fifteen white bass, two stripers, hybrid minimum fifteen inches. So you might want to do some count and see if you got over 15 on there, brother. If you do, you might want to throw a couple out. And that'd be that. And he gone. Uh, he's still in there. He's just over talking to Aaron. Nate said, today is almost perfect for fishing here no wind and 70 degrees that's the way it is here at my house i don't know where you're at nate but i'm in georgia north georgia and it's just been a beautiful day up here size matters what's up size matters thanks for dropping in we got 21 people in here bob's uh, talking to a buddy of ours out there on the river right now so he'll be back in just a minute he muted himself now it looks like they're just floating around each other i can see the front of Aaron's boat for a second. I could. Nickel Jack. You mean Nickel Jack? Are you down in Tennessee, Roger? What's up, Down River Boys? How you doing? Okay, I thought they were sterile, so how they breed is through stripers, but all right. You, you back, Bob? Hey, Bob. Can yeah. You, 15. Yeah. The limit's 15 up there. Okay. Let me count. <laughs> that's, that's why I'm letting you know real quick. Yeah. Hey, catfish regulars, how you doing? Oh, they're in the gathering. I'm driving. Okay. Okay, Roger. Got you. How you doing, Aaron? You doing all right? I went to the doctor today. He says I'm healing pretty decent, but he's sending me to physical therapy to try to get more motion on my knee. I'm getting a little more every day, but I guess he figured he going to really put me through it. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. What? <laughs> Shut up, Shut up, girl. All right, All right Dustin. We're trying to get outlaw Bob legal here. <laughs> Y'all laugh. Three. 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 Yeah, he's just catching white bass, though. Uh, uh, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. So you still good? Yeah, I'm still good. Roger said if you catch a hybrid, that's a fifteen inch minimum. I, I don't know what a hybrid is. What the hell is a hybrid? Hybrid's sort of like what you got there, that broken line. Oh, shit. They look like a striper. <laughs> watch your mouth. <laughs> That's why I don't know if them are hybrids or strippers you got right there with the broken lines. Well, so, hmm. Interesting. <laughs> uh, we got to end this live right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think those are white bass. So usually uh, hybrids are like a little round as a football. But didn't you say them was footballs? <laughs> well, they kind of look like football. Yeah. yeah, I know broken lines are not striped, but I think what he's catching is still white bass. I don't think they're uh, hybrids. He said broken lines are not striped. That's what I said. I know they're hybrids. So is there a minimum on hybrids? Yep, you can only catch two. Inches? And they uh -huh. have to be 15 inches. No oh, crap. Interesting. <laughs> keep fishing, Bob. Keep fishing. We'll let, we'll let, we'll let the game warden sort it out. <laughs> Shut up, Daryl. <laughs> I, all that I could tell, they were all white bass. Every, absolutely every one of them. As far as I was concerned, they was white bass. I didn't see any of them that looked like a hybrid. Here really. comes a green and white boat. <laughs> Huh. Well, when you went up there, there, and did you tell him to get out of your way? Uh, he left. He's going home to get something to eat. No. Chit chat. He's kind. Of, he's wanting to. I'm wanting to buy his boat, but it needs some work on it. That's a nice one. Mine. Yeah, I'd have to sell this one to buy it. That one. Twenty seventy two. So it's twenty foot long. Yeah, it's a 2072, 20 foot long, 72 inches wide, but it needs some welding done on it. It's probably got to be welded from the inside. Yeah. So I don't I don't know if I want to do that or not. I know a man that can weld as good as anybody around. The one that welded your other boat for you before you sold it. Mm -hmm. But that's the only thing that I'd love to for mine to I wish my boat was it's it's right at 18 feet. I would love if it was two foot longer and it and that two foot was in the back. Yeah. I mean, what would you ask for? What could you ask? For? Well, here's what you could ask for more out of my boat if it's two foot longer, for it to be James uh, like James's boat with that whole cab up there to get out of the rain. Well, you know, ideally, when I was looking at boats before my truck petered out on me, I really wanted a crest liner that was kind of in between a mod V and a deep V. I didn't want a deep V and I didn't want a shallow mod V like this one. So I was looking for something kind of in between and that crest liner, yeah. 1850 fit the bill. But we know how that went. Yeah. I like my deep V. I mean, you just can't beat them. Doing, when, you, when it's in rough water, you can't beat them though, those deep Vs. Yeah, Man, yeah but seen... I still like the crappie fish too and it's it's harder to oh, get out of a deep V. Yeah. <clears throat> Damn, River Boy said in Chesapeake, and uh, in, in the Chesapeake, you can only catch one striper, and it has to be over 19 inches and under 29. But they do have a short big fish season where you can keep a fish t over 29 inches. Huh. Interesting. I don't know what Roger's trying to drive and text too. He says, you're done with big, big deep V's. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the muskrat is quite a deep V. Oh, there's fish. <laughs> that one, that one, that one is surprised and shocked you, didn't it? <laughs> that is about ripped the rod on my hand. Man, these things hit, they hit hard. Had the warm temperatures in his pants because it about scared the pee out of him. Hey, Dale, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for dropping in. That's another little football. But Bob, uh, Bob was drifting for uh, with chicken for. Oh, that's a nice one there. Okay, what's the consensus? White bass or hybrid? Hold, hold on, let, let the expert yeah. Roger tell you. Yeah. I say, I say that's a white bass. White bass or hybrid? White bass. I say it's white bass because it's just not rounded around enough to be a hybrid. But I'm not an expert. Man, he's he's kind of skinny. He's got broken lines. Yeah. See, he's not round enough to me to be a. a oh, he, he ain't really round. No.
See you, uh, John. Thanks for dropping in, buddy. Share us out if you can. All right, that's 14. So you either got to start culling or stop fishing. One or two. Are you, oh, well, you can just start throwing them back, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I might cut some up for bait. Well, I, the only thing I got on the boat's a bumping rod. Uh, you, can water bump bump. you could bump with it, just cut it in chunks. I ain't enough water down here. Man, well, you just said you was going to bump. I don't know. Now you're confusing me. I ain't enough water to bump. I believe that, that water is so slow. There you go. Yeah. Now you got to either, you got to make a decision now, my friend. <laughs> Walk up front and throw that one out, okay? Oh, where's he going? Where's he going? Oh, yeah. Boy, these things fight hard, man. Mm. What says chat? White bass or hybrid? Uh, Roger said he thought it was a hybrid. Nobody else had an opinion. Huh. Um, Hey, maybe you should stick his uh your finger up his anal cavity and see if it's white bass poop or or <laughs> now taste taste it see if it, if it tastes like white bass or hybrid poop. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> yep. Here you go. Let's see. We only have hybrids down in South Georgia, down on uh, Clark, like uh, wait, Clark Hill. Clark Hill, we don't have hybrids up around where I'm at. There's another one stacked down there in there, thick. Man. We're going to have to get somebody on the boat with you. Hey, I'm sort of on the boat with you, so don't, does that mean you can have 30? Yeah, you got Tennessee fish license? Yes, sir, I do. <laughs> you know it. Oh, yeah. Come on, Polly, fight hard. That thing is big. Quick, Ow, quick, quick. Thing will bite you. That thing will bite you. Hey, look, lady, how you doing? He's got poop coming out of him. Woo! See you, buddy. If, if you make it till dark, it ain't gonna matter what they are because game wardens are afraid to come out at dark anyway. I ain't gonna jinx myself. I, I wouldn't either. <laughs> but I, I will say this. They, they need to come up here to this dam more often because people come up here all the time without lights on, without life jackets on. It's stupid. Oh, absolutely. I've seen it also. <laughs> and there's more you see up there without the life jackets on than anything. Hey, Monty, how you doing? Appreciate you dropping in. We've got 24 people in here watching you awesome. smash all those uh, wiper white bass. <laughs> Whatever they are. Yeah, <laughs> them, 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 there he is. There he was. Oh, he, he hit and missed. Your hookup ratio. That might have, that, that was probably a skipjack because your hookup ratio went down. It'd be nice to catch some skipjack. What's the cool about them white bass? When they hit, it's like they dig, they go straight down with it. They don't mm -hmm. sort of run left or right. They just go straight down and pull it down. And then when they see the boat, they try to run around it. All right, that's what I thought. Okay, white bass have one saw the line from the head to the tail, and the rest of the lines are fainted. So that's that's what those are. Pretty much, they're fainting out. So those are white bass? White I would hybrid? think so. Show, show another one. See what Tidal Wade Sinker says. I think they are. Yeah, I don't know. I don't catch them enough. See, All he, right. I mean, he, he's got a lot. Can you see it? Is it in focus? Aaron just sent me a white bass picture, and it's a it looks exactly what you're holding up. So this is a white bass. Yeah. Okay. 
That's what I thought. That's what I always thought was white bass. Yeah, I don't know what a hybrid looks like. I don't even know if there's hybrids in there, but they may be. I don't know. I thought those were white bass. They're fun to catch, I can tell you that. Yeah, he sent me a hybrid. It's just different. They're more rounded. Okay. All right. I thought it was right. Thanks, catfish regulators. Uh-oh. Here it goes. Another one. Yeah, I've had – every time I slow it down, I start hitting them, so they must be running a little bit deeper. Yeah, sort of like those uh, – that's the way we actually been doing with the uh, skipjack up there, trying mm -hmm. to slow down. I've been, like. been throwing up stream and slow rolling it back with a little pop every now and then. Yeah. That's pretty good. Let's see yeah. if I can down here. Come on, boy. Wow. That's a good one. Uh, I bet he's going in the cooler. I'm gonna bring me in here uh, right quick. That's a nice one. Mm -hmm. All right, Bob, you see that? Uh -huh. That's exactly what you're catching and that's white bass. Okay. You see what I'm showing you? Yeah. And that is a picture of a white bass, so. All right, I'm gonna put you back up. There you. Right there. That looks exactly like the picture. Yep. I believe that's all I'm going to keep. I think I got 14 in there. Yeah. Proud to have them, though. It's been fun to catch. Doing something different, you know. Uh, yeah. I got everybody sending me pictures now. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's a that's what I thought. You're catching white bass. You're not catching hybrid. Uh, I'm looking at them side by side. And the best way you can tell is the, like the fish you're catching, their tail mm -hmm. is more V. The hybrid does not doesn't have his V a tail. Oh, and wow. the back dorsal fin stands up higher also. Mm. So that's the main way you can see. So you're catching white, you're catching white bass, which is what I thought. Thanks, Brad. Appreciate you, buddy. They all gonna look good in the gray, so you know. Yeah, that was a good comparison. Yeah, that Simon, the Crisco, Crisco Disco. Yeah. Cold Creek catfishing, Billy. What's up, bro? So Billy. Billy, I guess that's a, a, a lady with a B-I-L-L-I-E. I don't know why I said bro. Bro it. Oh. Joe said, check email, you big dummy. All right. Good thing is I, I, I nothing's come to me in my email. So I can't check my email. What do I oh. say about timeline on your knee before you can get out and fish and stuff again? Yeah. One more sandwich, they said. Yeah. What do I say about your knee as far as how long before you can get out and go fishing again? Uh, I, I don't, I'm not under any restriction. It's just when I feel like I can. My, my thing is, like, I. Right now, there's no way I can, you know, I have to climb in my boat and climb over yeah. it. No way I could do that. I could probably go out with somebody. Billy is a man. Thank you. I, I, you know, you get scared when it's spelled B I L L I E. You don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, but I guess I messed it up anyway. You did. Muskrat said, One thing, one time I'm glad I was wrong. All right. Well, just wear a brace when you. Think you're gonna do something stupid? I still do that. Everybody's telling me, "Hey, <laughs> this this Billy is a he, not a she." I'm sorry, folks. I didn't mean it. <laughs> there you. Oh no, we got to kill this live Vikings in here, or we're assuming it's Viking oh, anyway. Lord. 
How do we know this is really you, Vaki? How do we know it? this is really Vaki? And how much money do you need tonight? <laughs> yeah, he tried to he tried to get me to turn tricks or something earlier. I don't know for money. Yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, said uh, uh, Daryl had a two stand moment. Man, I, I I have moments all the time. Uh, I have so many moments. I don't even hardly get much to upset about it as many times as I have. Moments. There he goes again. Whoop, whoop. I love it. This is about this, half as fun as bumping. Billy said, my name originally is from Cedar Grove, Tennessee. So where are you living at now? Lexington, yeah. Tennessee area. All right. Yeah. Billy can't be all bad. He's from Tennessee. Oh, yeah. No, not a little... Hold it up, and I'll show you some difference about it, Bob. When you hold it up, hold him, him. Hold him. So I, I see how the V in its tails. I got a V in its tail. Mm -hmm. uh, a hybrid won't quite won't be like that. You see how? See its okay. its back fin, its back dorsal fin on its back, that very back one. Pull it up. Yeah. See how it comes off of him in the back. Mm -hmm. uh, a hybrid doesn't come up off of it like that. It go. It sort of goes down smooth. So that's how you can tell that that back dorsal fin for sure. It comes off. See how it, it comes up off of its back at the very back part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, a hybrid won't do. Won't be like that. Not as pronounced anyway. I tell Brandon if he gets out, I will give him some white bass. I know he loves these things. Uh, uh, he just sent me. Said didn't think he was going fishing. Uh oh. I had to work downtown today. It probably wore him out. He didn't get three naps today. Yeah. Catchfish back and said, I still haven't got my face put back. Uh, Another one, another fish. I'm getting behind on comments. Sorry, guys. We've been trying to. Hybrids have two uh, two tooth patches and a white bass has one. I ain't sticking my finger in the mouth to find that well, one out. I, I checked for a tooth patch on one of them, and I didn't see that. I appreciate the information, Mitch South. If it's okay with you, I'll just, I look at his tail and his fin. <laughs> I stick my finger down his throat. Let's see. Tooth patch, huh? I thought yeah. only large and small mouth had tooth patch. Yeah, he does have a tooth patch. Okay. He should just have one. Well, Once again, I can tell one. looking at its tail, the V in its tail, and it actually, that back dorsal fin came up, and I yeah, can tell. Yeah, still one. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Joe said, don't rush to recovery. I did one time and had to start it all over again. Yeah, I don't have any that they don't put me on any restriction. It's do as much as I can, as much as I, or, you know, as I feel like it. And I'm getting a little better every day. Muskrat said, You wouldn't believe what Zach was willing to do for $100. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know. If I can say, Ha ha. <laughs> I had very little respect for him before, but now. Man. Tyler White said, Roger, he offered me special favors for a few people. <laughs> Joke <laughs> tips for tricks. <laughs> oh, come here, boy. Uh, Bill said that uh, he was born and raised in West Virginia, but my dad was born and raised in Cedar Grove. And I these, carried these the things are thick in here tonight. That looks oh, like that's, that's good. good. That's fun. Yeah, that's a good one up there. <laughs> Viking said he wasn't a cheap date. $100 make you holler. <laughs> I hope that wasn't bad to say on there. Uh, I gotta go do a count now. Billy said I had uh, tons of that. Son. There you go. Yeah, that's nice. That's another. That's another white bass. Yeah, they thick up in here tonight. Must have ate all the skipjack. I see. Because I, I ain't caught a single skipjack. If I keep, oh, I got it up here. All right, I'm going to show you the difference here. I'm going to bring this up again, Bob. And you can see the, the two. All right, the top one is a white bass. Can y'all see that okay? See the top fin, uh, how it's up? It's up off the of uh, It actually bur blurs more. Uh, I can't, uh, the, I can't one, see it on my phone. the bottom one is a hybrid. It's The back fin is laid down on its back. If you look at the yeah. top one, that, that back fin is up off of its back. Okay. So, 
That's that's a big telltale. So your everything you got so far has been a white bass. Actually, the second one down, but the yellow bass and the white bass basically are built about the same. <coughs> One thing about it, we'll tell a game warden if he stops and says you're illegal. Say, hey, buddy. We, we did a lot of studying online trying to make sure I was lethal. I'm going to tell him they're magic fish, and I'm going to say, I want you, I'm going to put them back in the water, and I want you to watch them swim. Even though they look like they're dead, they're really magic fish, and I put them back in the water. And then when he say, why you do that, I go, what fish? Yeah. Mr. Smith said, it looks like you're having a great time. Roger said the, yeah, the – the skipjack are probably right to go up there against the wall. Uh, you know, no, I, because Aaron has been up there, and them guys I talked to at the boat ramp, they were up there. That nobody seemed to have been catching them up there. They've been stacked out in the middle of the river down below the second set of power lines. Yeah. Where they've been, right out in the yeah. in the middle of the river. Yeah. Uh, Joe said there should be plenty of shad there. The white bass chase the shad school. Yeah, uh, that's why they're. Uh, that's why the the skipjack and the shad come up here to dams like that because the shad the shad are up there right now, big time. Yeah, they're hatching. So, but it's just been a strange year, really. It really has been odd this year. Totally different from last year. Totally different. For, for everything. Yeah. Not near as much water, not near as much rain. It's been a bizarre year. <laughs> that always said, if he did, if the game warden does stop, you just say something like, just tell them that they swim like white bass, look, and throw them all back in. <laughs> Say, <laughs> hey, look, I can prove they're white bass. There you go. Watch. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, bluegrass state of mind. Glad you dropped in. We're just That's having fun, fun watching Bob. We were supposed to be freelining for uh, catfish, but the catfish wasn't biting, so Bob said, heck with this, and he started catching white bass. Yeah, I ain't seen nobody really catching catfish up here. Yeah, Mr. Smith, you, you missed that. We talked about in the beginning to cut that red meat out of them. So he already knew that, but appreciate your information there anyway. Yeah, I do that with any fish. I'll cut that red streak out of them. Even a catfish do that. We do that all. So that's what gives it that strong taste. But hey, you know, it's enjoyable just watching you catch the white bass. It beats watching Sanford, son, don't it? I don't know about all that, but anyway. <laughs> oh, it's a big one, Elizabeth. Who is the biggest? Let me see, see you, Elizabeth. My empire. Look at my look at my empire. It's gonna all be yours one day, Lamont. Just text uh Woody told him I'm lying. We'll see if he wants to come on. If he's at his house, he probably can't come on because he don't have any Yeah. Anything any uh their internet is horrible there at his house. So. Yeah, he posted a picture on Facebook earlier of his old pop-up, and I said, you still got one of them things? Yeah. I had one, and I sold it. I just never used it. Kids got older, and they didn't care much about going camping. It yeah. sat in the shop. And I didn't even try to sell it. And Some guy one day stopped in there and asked me about it, and it needed some work done on the roof, and I was like, well, what are you giving me for it? He made an offer and I took it. He shook his hand, huh? Yeah. I don't blame you. I mean, they're great when you use them, but if you just let them sit, yeah. they'll just fall apart. Right. That's right, Bluegrass State of Mind. Any fishing is better than sitting at home. Amen to that. You know, it's crazy. I don't understand why. Usually I can, but maybe it's just because, I bet it's because of a, uh, I'm on stream, uh, stream yard, uh, but I, it does not show. So, uh, believe it or not, let me turn this off. 
How many thumbs? Oh, we got 21 thumbs up. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. 21 thumbs up. We appreciate everybody. If you hadn't subscribed to the channel, we'd appreciate if you subscribed to the channel. I'm going to meet you, man. I got somebody talking to you. Okay. I appreciate everybody that has dropped in with us. We've got 24 people. If you hadn't hit thumbs up, I'd really appreciate that. And uh, uh, hadn't been able to get out fishing in the last three weeks. So Bob said he was going to go fishing. I said, hey, can I do a live? I need to get a couple of watch hours in or something. So if you guys can share us out and hit the thumbs up, we really appreciate it. Uh, you have to keep over 4,000 watch hours in a year. I pro I've got over that, but I just don't want to ever drop down. What's up, KP? Uh, we got Bob out there. We was trying to catch chicken. Or catch, he was trying to catch some catfish on chicken. They wasn't biting, so he's going to try to catch some skipjack and the white bass. He has caught them one right after the other. <laughs> Joe said the game warden just rolled up. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I feel very confident that he's legal, 100% legal. Unless he's caught too many, he's 100% legal. And if game warden stops, I'm going I'm to show him the picture we went by if he says we're wrong. We're honest. What you been up to, Mr. Kenneth? You want to pop up? Let me see if I can throw the link out there. I'm going to try to figure this out. I might not make it. Let's see. Uh, I don't know how to put it into. I don't know how to do that. I would put it out there for people to come up, but I really don't know how to do that. Unless, copy, hey, I copied. Look at there. Kenneth, if you want to come up, there you go. I actually learned something. Wait a minute, I didn't get it in there yet. There it went. There's StreamYard if anybody wants to come up. Lie with us, tell us stories, whatever. <laughs> Fishing the Vince I said it. It is the game warden. I told him to send the fine to Daryl. <laughs> hey, I, I put the picture up. Uh, thanks, Roger. If you want to come up, I got that set in there. Uh I actually just got it in there on StreamYard. It took me a second, but I figured it out. Hey, I'm 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 smarter than your average. Well, I won't say average bear. You're dumb bear, I guess. I know, Steve. Ain't that great? I did it. <laughs> Sometimes you just never know. You just never know. You, you can teach an old, old, old dog new trick every now and again. I thought Bob was about to unmute us. But everybody that's followed us in, uh, Bob was drifting for chicken. And uh, he did, wasn't catching anything with chicken uh, freelining. So he took and thought he'd try to catch some skipjack and maybe try to bump some, uh, even though he don't have hardly any stream. And he started catching white bass. So he's been catching ba white bass left and right. Maybe he'll take some of them and start uh, catching some cats with them or something. I bet you he's got some skipjack hid in there on the boat somewhere. Or he might go back to drifting. So, you never can tell. Mr. Smith, I never got anything from you on your t-shirt that you won. I don't know if you sent it to Jody and she didn't get it or whatever but uh if you want a t-shirt if you want the t-shirt you want you can either hit me up or hit jody up one with your address and shirt size or you might not even want one and i wouldn't blame you <laughs> he only has one rod in the boat well if, that, if he's got one only got one rod in his boat shame on him Ain't no way D-Rail Maurice is leaving the house with just one ride on the boat. He's too busy talking to everybody else, ain't he? Uh, my email, hang on, I'll type it in there.
There you go. DMARS Precision Cannons at Yahoo.com. I don't know if everybody's seen that Tennessee uh, record uh, rod from Mad Cats, but that's a, that's a nice rod that Mr. Burkett had. He's showing us a picture. We can't hear him. You're still muted, you big dummy. Now he's fussing with the fish. There, there you go. go. Yeah. Another white bass. Uh, yeah, just cuddling phone to that stream and, and letting it drop. And then just yeah, I haven't mailed anything out, Billy, yet because I'm waiting, trying to get everybody's stuff in. I've got, I've only heard from three people. I'm not letting it go all the way. Uh, if I don't hear get it from everybody in about uh, a week, I'm going to start mailing them in. But I got your address. Actually, it's P.O. Box. Letting it go close to the bottom. Yeah, that's a good looking boat, man. What is it, a 14? Mr. Uh, Social Butterfly Bob out there talking to everybody. Come on, man. You got a show to do. You're on TV. You can't. They don't stop in the middle of TV to sit and talk with people for hours. Get off that. Yeah. Come on, Bob. The Bobcat King. I just noticed he put that on there. Shut up, Daryl. Man, look. You're on TV. You got to get this right. He's he even fishing. He's just gossiping and talking. Man. Yeah, Billy, I wasn't correct. I knew what you're talking about. I've corrected people before, and I'm like, well, there wasn't no sense in correcting somebody on something like that. So I did. Hey, Woody, are you where you can? Uh, I'll, I'll drop the link if you want to drop in. Uh, I sent you a text earlier. You didn't. You didn't answer it. If anybody wants to come up, there's the link. Nobody's heard from you in a in, in a month of moons, Woody. If you're where you can, there's the link. If you want to come in, if you can. Is this the Oprah show? I don't know, Frank. It, it's supposed to be uh, Bobcat catching white bass, but he's talking to somebody out there on the river just. For, don't care about his 23 people in here watching him trying to watch him catch, you know, white bass or anything. You're at the pool league. Well, you better get constipated. I mean, concentrated. I'm back. Man, put all your fans on hold to talk to one person. How rude. Horrible. Hey, I, I, Jesus left the 99 to find that one. <laughs> yeah, but what, I don't think he was a lost lamb, was it? <laughs> That's a high dollar boat right there. What is it? Uh, it's one of them uh, Vexus aluminum bass boats. Oh, I ain't in a no bass boat. I ain't catching no. I uh, mean, either. Somebody gave me a. Hundred thousand dollar bass boat. I'd trade it for a catfish boat. You dang right. I'd sell that thing so fast it'd make your head spin, and I'd get a boat just like James. Yeah, he's my hero. He's mine too. I don't know. I kind of like Brandon's boat. Oh boat. no! Look who's come up. Yeah. My Lord. Oh, there there it is. She is. There's trouble, Michael. <laughs> Have you have you put your boat out yet, Jody? No, it's taking James forever. And now he's feeding his dog. Oh, come on, James. James. Come on, James. He's supposed to have that done before I get here. Golly, what's wrong with James? Come on, James. He got that I, fancy new boat and it's la ti da. Well, uh, he's a high society. I was, I was just talking about his boat. <laughs> you taking your boat out or his boat? Oh, I'm taking my boat out, but he's taking his out too because his is more luxurious. Luxurious. Sure. <laughs> they can fart in that cabin and sit there and just smell it. 
<laughs> so are y'all going to tie them off nose to toes or what? It's, that's his own Dutch oven. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm going to send James a link also right quick, too. Tell James. Why would I want to go out in the rent rack when I can't? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. James, I'm going to send you a link also, brother. You need me to pull her back. I don't know about Doug's boat that way. How Did you hear that? What? Did you hear what I was saying? Yeah, I can hear you. You're yelling. How can I not hear you? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty great. Oh, my. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see how you are. What? Says you get on my boat again. Yeah. Dang it, boy. Now the hate discontent. Stop it, James. You make yourself look bad. I'm going to climb out there on it right now. Oh, Lord. I'm sure I can outrun him. Uh, probably can't. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to. Uh, I know send somebody him. I can outrun. I'm trying to send him the link off. <laughs> I'm about choked on my water, Jody. That's awful. I know somebody I can outrun right now. Smack her, smack her, Daryl. <laughs> I'm not even talking. I'm so busy trying to do something here. I just realized she's talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> My feelings are almost hurt. I'm going out of chat again. He hurt your feeler. <laughs> your feeler. Here comes a pontoon boat now. I think she was it, Joey. No, I'm laying here, resting. Laying Lord. here. Yeah, I, I, while I sat. I like to stretch out when I get home after work, and I ain't gonna stretch out yet. So I'm laying here waiting on slow poke. Oh, I'm done fish or I'm at home. Oh. I think I got home. Take the last picture. Can find it. Say what? I heard you. What? Waiting on slow poke. Man, I don't want to lose a spoon. Come on. My, my precious. Spoon yeah. Why are you fishing? My babies. My babies. It's still short. You know what? I miss what? my boat so bad. I'm thankful, you know, I was able to borrow boats and pitch rides on boats. But there's nothing like driving your own boat, using your own sonar, finding your own thoughts. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, I don't know. I can't hear for James back in the background screaming like a banshee. He's probably trying to put out a fire at Jody started. <laughs> You've been cooking jello again? No, but I cooked twice this week. None of it was worth eating. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I made meatloaf one night and couldn't eat oh, it. Lord. Then second night, I tried to make shrimp with that butter and garlic. Then it wasn't no count. Oh, Lord, baby. What is, how did you raise all them kids that can't cook? My kids did sports year-round. We eat out the whole time. Okay. He's on the road at <laughs> restaurants and stuff. Oh. And then their, their, my mother-in-law was a mile up the road from me and she cooked. I can't tell you how many stinking times we ate at McDonald's when we the girls were swimming and stuff. Oh, Lord. I ate so much McDonald's and one ride and turned into a Mc, McBobby. Yeah. <laughs> what did they like? Oh, for you know, I, pre I actually prefer a hot dog over a cheap burger. I like hot dogs burgers. over a cheap burger. Yeah, <clears throat> you know how you just run and grab something real cheap, like tacos or something? It used to be you could eat out really, really cheap if you watched what you are doing. Well, grab uh, pizza called. or dollar burgers and fries and have your own drinks. Them. But you can't do that now, and I never liked them. Well, I tell you, they had this mushroom Swiss burger at McDonald's. <clears throat> I did. No, that was Hardee's. No, McDonald's had one for McDonald's a little while. ever had a mushroom Swiss Yeah, Hardee's. they did. It was a small one. I don't remember. Because I was doing low carb and I'd get it without the bun. Hey, Mr. Smith, I did receive that. I got it. Thank you very much, sir. I will send you that shirt out. I didn't even look at the size. I'll look at it later. Jody, can you send James that link in case he wants to come on also? Well, he's in the kitchen. 
I'm talking about when he gets out on the boat, if he wants to join us. Oh. Because okay. y'all going to be separate. Golly. Because I can't figure out how to do it with the invite unless I send it to an email because it says Gmail. Email. Yeah, text. I had to text it to him. Well, I don't know how to text it from my computer. I forward it just like a messenger thought, but instead of a messenger. I I can do it. Okay, I appreciate it. Bob finally got another one. Yeah, the bot slowed down though. It's on. It's on. It's on. I'll give him the copy there. That we'll Hardy's the burger fish. is my favorite burger. Uh, fishing in the Mid South said, Jody, I dare you to make that statement in front of John Wiggs. I don't know what statement you made, but. It's untelling what yeah. I said. But yes, Hardy's did have a good mushroom and Swiss burger. They still do. Now, our Hardy's here in Jasper shut down, and I was told all the Hardy's shut down. Nah, I had one not too, about two weeks ago. Okay. And I got a Hardy's platter one day this weekend. Okay. What's your favorite Hardy biscuit? Yeah, I like their biscuits because they brown theirs. But I like a, a, to me. To me, there's only uh, two different biscuits that I really well. I like a sausage biscuit, but what mm -hmm. what I really really like is a country ham, double <gasps> ham. Yeah. Or I like a steak biscuit yep. with bacon and cheese. If you ever tried a steak biscuit with bacon and cheese, no, I call it the heart attack. I like steak biscuits, <laughs> ham biscuits, bologna biscuits, um, tenderloin biscuit, a good yeah, bacon tenderloin biscuit. Was all Jody, you asked, Jody, yeah, Jody, you asked for the favorite biscuit. Now you're just spitting out every biscuit that's on well, the menu. I like a hash brown biscuit. What's your favorite biscuit? Gravy and biscuit. There's a loaded oatmeal biscuit. Oh, oh not God. oatmeal, but omelet biscuit. And then there's a pork chop and gravy biscuit. <laughs> is it legal for me to <laughs> You said, what is your favorite biscuit? My favorite. You, that's what you asked me, and then you spit out the whole menu. My favorite biscuit. You ever heard of Mrs. Winters? It used to be Lee's Chicken. Yes. Yeah. Is the steak biscuit from there. But if you, if that's where I have learned how to do a steak biscuit for Mrs. Winters, but I had them put bacon, bacon and cheese on it. Makes it double good for bacon and cheese and steak. Their biscuit is real buttery and soft and just a of salty. Was. No, you ever had a biscuit meal? Here. The biscuit meal now. Yeah, I have them in North Carolina. I'm put, Chicken, put egg, and cheese. Right one biscuit is a meal for all day. Hardy's got a good chicken sandwich. You know what my favorite biscuit was in the summertime? <laughs> tomato biscuit. Really? Tomato tomato biscuit. Biscuit. Oh, my I've God. Seen, I've seen hey, Gary, how you doing, buddy? A slice of homegrown tomato on a biscuit, that's that's all you need. <laughs> mm -hmm. Eric says, Jody can't cook any of those biscuits. <laughs> you won't get fancy. You're going to put a little mayo on there, too. But yeah. You don't need it. Good homegrown tomato. Mm. So, so Dustin was so far behind on the video, he couldn't figure out why. He thought I was way behind on the chat. Man. I guess you eat mater sandwiches, too. Oh, I grew up. My granny started us on mater sandwiches when we could eat. Solid food. Grew up. She used to cut them in quarters, too. I'll be down at the boat ramp since you just want to lay around and not go fishing. Woo! You ready? Ooh. You've been ready. I, well, I was born ready. I put my uh, Daryl's on first. <laughs> your overalls, your car. There home. you go, baby. Put them overalls on. Jody can even tell you what number to say at the drive through for each biscuit. <laughs> That's what yeah. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> I want a number five, please. Two, two fours and a seven. <laughs> I don't eat that. I eat one. No, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this, Chris. You are so perfect. That's so great. Chris Brown says, so, Dustin, you're saying you get behind in all your videos, not just your own. He stays behind in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A pork chop biscuit. Oh, I love I to make a sandwich. He's so far behind, he's telling us sandwiches. We're all talking about biscuits. Oh, yeah. Come here, boy. Be a little football right there, man. I make yeah. gravy biscuits. Yeah. Tim said we're talking about food. I do. Yes, I do make gravy biscuits. Oh, that's all right. Get him, Bob. Get him, Bob. We got to turn. Well, hang on. 
I muted Jody. Okay, get him, Bob. I got Jody muted. Yeah, hang on, my pig. Hey, gone fishing. A couple good flies on him, though. There you go. All right, we'll turn her back on. I muted you, Jody. Sniff. <laughs> Did you sniff? Dustin yeah. sniff. Dustin said he's the high no life. <laughs> oh, boy. I was born. Thank you, everybody, for dropping in. We appreciate it. Tell you, I got so down and out not going fishing. I just about shut everything down about three yep. days ago. So when we go out, you just drive a straight line, and I'll just run circles around you on the way out there. Oh Lord, yes. here you is, Matt Dog. Mm. You better not. Mm. Are you really taking your boat out? Yeah. Like, why would I not take my boat out? What did you just say? It's so nice being in your own boat. That's just I just. <laughs> Good. I am. Well, that's why I'm driving circles around. You just drive flat out straight, and I'll just be. <laughs> James, you're like sounding like a, James. Yeah. James, you're sounding like a hateful old man. I am a hateful old man. Oh, okay. Man. Never mind. I sound that way. Well, at least yeah. try to fool half the people in here. You know, you are a lot of. They know I would never do that to the blessing. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't she a blessing? <laughs> she would sink my boat. <laughs> uh, Joe, Joe said, uh, Bob, we do have Biscuitville here where I live. Okay. Yeah, they used to have pretty good biscuits. All right, I put my Daryl's on and I'm going to be ready to go. So. All right. Uh, good. You know, it's just been so. Oh, there's, there's one. It's been so. All right. Y'all go love. Y'all, Jody, get out, get out of here. Y'all go load, the, put the boats in the room. Mine's ready. I've got my truck and my boat loaded ready. I even got my cotton candy on the boat. Well, cotton is the boat backed up to the dock? Nah, it's in, I'm like three minutes. Nah. I'm like two minutes from the dock. Well, my question is, my question is, that's a nice, that's a nice swipe bass there, Bob. Yeah, pretty. My my question is, why are you sitting there if he's going to take his own boat? You ain't got to wait on him. Yeah, James. What? I'm talking Every, to you, Jody. Arriva Dirty. Yeah, okay. <laughs> read the dirt. It was that easy. <laughs> Joe, I'm not going to read that one because I try to keep it clean here, but sometimes he can be. <laughs> <laughs> you should change your name to Mean Ass Catfish. <laughs> That's what I mean in my boat. <laughs> What's the name of your boat? You said your name in your boat. I'm naming it Nessie. Go on fishing, says I'm down, down here by Tyler Barnes. I was going to name it Globula, but Nessie. Globula. <laughs> Or my Are y'all going fishing? Y'all going to sit around and like giggle at each other. Like nest in here? Mm -mm. I can't get you out. You're like a tick born in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dustin. Maybe you can what bring some on here? Dustin. Yeah, everybody, Hello, thinks, everybody thinks James is Hold on, my bet. And, hey. and he is. <laughs> hey, Jody. All right. Well, I, I muted her. Go ahead, Dustin. I muted her. Oh, no, I just came in to say, hey. Oh, hey. You're, you're breaking up. There you they go. Got you're... Muted. What? 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 Yeah. Golly, Brian, they sound like a married couple, don't they? Well, well, I, could, I, I it's been so hard. nice to catch it's fish tonight. Where are I muted? Saturday's sad performance. <laughs> Holy so moly, that was there? bad. Yeah. He, can, was he can hear you. I'm not hey, asking. when am I coming out this month, Dustin? You tell me. <laughs> Uh, anytime after the 15th. Okay, I'll see you then. Weekdays, right? What's that? We want to do weekdays, correct? Um, yeah, whatever works for you. I'll, I'll just, uh, yeah, I, yeah, let's see. The fifth, yeah, after the 15th, that's my wedding anniversary, so. Oh, yeah, no, it'd be after the 15th. <laughs> yep. I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't want to ruin that. Am I going with you, James? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Yo, you can. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I need is a is a hobble along. Can I go? Yeah, yeah, you and Daryl. <laughs> meet me here. On it's okay, meeting. Joe. That's okay. How rude. <laughs> meet me I here morning of the I'm 18th. Like, I'm going to have to mute them again. I swear, they sound like a bunch of old married couple, been married 50 years, and just can't even stand. If one blows her nose, it just makes them mad. Quit saying that. Every time you say that, it gets a complex. I can't help it. There's <laughs> trees. <laughs> He gets antsy. Yeah, James knows right. I ain't gonna change Run. it. <laughs> James, shut up. And go up. Go load. Go put your boat in water. Oh. <laughs> you want? Hey, James. Yeah, we'll talk later. 
Hmm. Hmm. Yo, you come with James, Judy? If I what? Are you gonna come with James down up, up to the James? No. Why not? James to the James. Cause that's his trip. Oh, I see how it is. I asked him if he'd go with me. It wouldn't bring me. He ain't gonna bring me either. And I'm the greatest guy around. I have to work, and um, that's you know, that's his trip. I got you. Is it raining? Can't be raining. <laughs> it's raining. It's pouring. Jody will be a snoring. <laughs> Rain puts her asleep. Guess where? Uh, I, guess where I fell asleep today at? At your what? desk, like I always do. No, I, I think we played this game before. Yep. <laughs> there it is. Uh oh, fish on, fish on. Where'd you fall asleep, Jody? I woke up with my head lit against the wall in the bathroom at work. <laughs> it was like a bad drinking game. Where did Jody wow. fall asleep? At? Take a shot every time Jody passes out. <laughs> <laughs> I think my liver can handle that. Dude. Oh, oh. Someone was banging on the door. Oh, that's a good. <laughs> Dang it. Catfish, Catfish Fresno, we're going to have to put him out of the chat. He said, hey, everybody on panel. Even Jody's avatar looks better than your ugly mugs. Hey. Oh, hey. Wow. Wow. I resemble that remark. That's a nice one. Yeah, what is that? Come on, CBA. White bass. He's been catching white bass. You ain't even been noticing. I've been thing. catching white bass like crazy. Wow. They go. They run up here in, in the shows and catch them like skipjack. I'm not sure why you why, why you're even spring that up. What the, what's I, the deal? I don't catch like fifty of them in an hour if I want them. Well, we ain't seen you catch the first in about four weeks. Jody's un unimpressed with my white bass. Oh. It's poop what? all over me, Jody. What's your catch ratio lately, Daryl? I ain't fished since uh, the gathering because I had an operation and I've, I've, I've just barely got around. It's just all I, I could do to muster up strength to get around. But Okay. Yeah. But if I had been, don't worry, I'd made you look bad. I doubt it. <laughs> it wouldn't take but one fish. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You just wait and see. Uh, hey Brandon, welcome to the chat. Hey Bob's caught. He's probably thrown back as many as, he, as he's caught. Yeah. Uh, we heard that the uh, limit for white bass was fifteen, so he's been throwing them back. I thought James was hateful. <laughs> you started it. <laughs> you started it. Uh -oh. I Eric I'm said, in. "I I heard it's it's supposed to rain Saturday mm -hmm. night in Tennessee." It's actually supposed to start raining tomorrow in Tennessee yeah, and rain for four nice. days, four or five days. That's why I really wanted to fish tonight. Yeah. To Me too. Here I'm sitting in the truck. Well, get out of the truck and go fishing, Jody. Yeah. yeah. Why? He's yeah. taking his own boat. Well, I was going to let him launch mine, but I guess I'd go on. Oh, so now, so now she's just too fragile to launch her own boat now. No. No, she's being trying to be nice. nice. Poor thing. Y'all y'all feel sorry for her. Poor poor thing. He finally came out the door. What's up, 205? How you doing, brother? There goes a deer. There's deers. Deers. Did you know that did you know deer had a plural S that went on it? There's deers. It does down south. There's deers. They ain't deer. Oh, They're deer. deers. The Shut, the, deers. I the block. Hang on. Shut the front door. I just shut the door. I just, I just locked her down. She can come on anytime she wants to. Dang gone if we want to listen to that. <laughs> Mercy. Mercy. What you got going on tonight on your show, uh, Dustin? We have Epic coming up talking about the Mississippi River. Mississippi, right. the big muddy. All right. That's awesome. One of these days I'm going to get to fish that river. Guys, he start. Dustin starts at ten o'clock on. Uh, tell him. Uh, let's see. Uh, what's the tell the name of your show? Tell everything, Dustin. I can't Megan remember. Megan 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 at ten o'clock. I'm Ethan. sorry, Dustin. Bob. Bob talked all the top of you. Go ahead and tell him again. <laughs> Hang on, I can fix this. Hang on. Okay, go ahead, Dustin. <laughs> 
It is uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time on Snag a Team Snag and Whiskers channel. The show is Snagging Night Live. Tonight we have uh, Epic Catfish talking about the Mississippi River. There we go. Thank you. Appreciate it. I thought I wasn't going to be able to let you even say anything. I don't know what it is about all these big mouths in here. I'm glad I don't talk all the time like that. I don't either. <laughs> YouTube celebrities. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. We got 26 people here. So, guys, at 10 o'clock, don't forget to go over there and tune in. We'll probably won't be in here by 10 o'clock, I doubt. Uh, I'm probably in bed by 10. I, I swear, I, you know what? I'm when old. you get up, it's 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock in the morning with a little grandbaby that's screaming. You go to bed early. And that's where I'm usually at on Thursday night. Hey, good evening, Rhonda. Fishing for whiskers yeah, I've in the been, house. I've been getting yep. up early in the morning going walking, so I've been getting in bed a little bit early. How you doing tonight? Fishing with whiskers, Miss Rhonda? She does. I get in bed early and wake up early. Yeah, my body apparently only needs six hours of sleep. If I go to bed at like nine o'clock, I'm up at three. Hey, Jody's actually driving now. We got her still muted. Jody, if you really got something to say, you can unmute us, but right now you muted. You muted. Muskrat, Muskrat said, I'm glad to see Bobcat is not in jail yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've had a discussion whether he was catching white bass or a hybrid. Hybrid, how many? Oh, okay. Oh, but we got pictures up and everything, and he he's totally one hundred percent legal. I'm gotcha. I'm his lawyer on that. I got pictures and everything to prove it. I, I don't actually <laughs> uh, target these things, but I started catching them tonight, and I was like, "Well, you might not? be in trouble." Daryl's your lawyer, Bobcat. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, I can talk. <laughs> Is that all it takes? <laughs> Hey, if it, hey, if it if, if talking wins you in court, I got it whooped. There you go, Joe. Put in there. Team Snag with you tonight, ten p.m. with Tim at Epic Catfishing. Very knowledgeable man. Absolutely. Yeah, I we wish I turned the our generator on. We use our show. Our show has been running an hour, ten to eleven. But we may go over tonight, but that's okay. Yeah, with with him on, you probably will. I just, I just yeah, hope chat gets involved. We want, we want a lot of people to ask questions. So, my, my buddy that I was talking to, I told him where to go and what to do, and he's finally catching fish. You're a great guy, Bobcat. <laughs> hey, hey, Danny Smith. Hey. There you go. Hey, Danny Smith. He said, y'all done screwed up and said Mississippi River too many times. <laughs> <laughs> you know I had an app that alerts me when y'all do that. <laughs> What's going on, Danny? The man, the myth, the legend, the mouth of fishing Mississippi. For, fishing for Whisker said, I'm I'm just happy Itty Bitty is off to work tonight so I can watch and take notes. Awesome. Look at there. I can read chat every once in a while, Dustin. Ain't, ain't you proud of him? I'm very proud of you. Doing a great job. Oh, great. Well, hang on. I'm patting myself on the back. I know you can't see it because I got Bob on full screen. Bob, you got to do something now. Put you on full screen. You ain't caught one. Well, they stopped by. I can't do nothing about that. You're the fish whisperer. You're the king. It says on the thing, the bobcat king. Bobcat king of the bobcats. Uh oh, Jody's backing Ooh. in the water. All right, y'all. We got to turn her. We're going to unmute full screen. <laughs> yeah, we're going to unmute her. And put her on full screen. We'll see how long because the last three times she's tried, the last three times oh. she's tried this, her boat had cranked. Jody, we got you on full screen, and you're oh. unmuted. She thinks she's on TikTok. Mm -hmm. She thinks she's on TikTok. There, oh, there we go. Well, time's a ticking whether that thing's gonna crank up or not. I'll tell you that much. All right, you got the plug in, right? <laughs> yes. I don't want more. I'll take the plug out. She's the only person with a pontoon boat that has to put a plug in and out. I've never seen nobody have to do that but her. I got that fish. Another white bass. Let me eat real quick. You get another one? Uh oh, Bobcat got another white bass. Oh, she done muted herself. Yeah, she's done fussing and cussing. That's a little bitty one. That's some bait right there. You need to cut that one up. Cut that up. Draw one up. Draw one up. Cut that, cut that thing in half and put it on a rod. Hang it over yeah, side. I can put it on my bumping rod. 
Yeah, said, just put it in hard rack. Nah. You, you're such a you make me so one of these days. Golly, bum. <laughs> All I got on the boat is a bumping rod. So why did you go with just a bumping rod? You're sometimes well, I think, that, Bob, you're just a dummy. I, this is my what plan I'm was my plan was oh there he is. My plan was to fish for a, a channel cast tonight, but things changed. Why wouldn't you have a uh, never mind? I'm not going to try to tell you anything. You I, my boat's it. only 17 foot long and 56 <laughs> inches wide. I can only put so many rods in here. Oh, where are you going, boy? So he can only put two. James Don said, Is she under the boat? The only person I know that can back a boat up <laughs> on themselves. I don't know, <laughs> Danny. I've seen that too. Uh oh, That's she's, she's video. Right? Ooh, that guy. That's Here we go. Here we go. They're, they're a race. It's a race. They're side to side. Yeah, I got to tie it off to the trailer first. I got to go count. Well, it's going to crank. Just back up enough to crank it up. I just need to know before it's tied off. Just back up enough where it won't float off and see if it'll crank. As long as the boat goes, the motor goes under water, the propeller goes under water, you're good. What are you going to do? No, we're going to drive them both off. Okay. Well, mine's ready. Oh, so is mine. Which one? Well, mine's easier to dock, so let's do mine. Okay. You can dock She's mine on the back side, and then right along with you, you can just take off. So, Jody, are you going to tie your boats together while you're out there? You're going to run circles around you. Joe's won't know if Danny's got bait for tomorrow night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't believe I'd undo that till it cranked with her way with her way her luck is. I don't think you can hear you, Daryl. I don't believe he wants to. <laughs> I don't blame him. So I, wouldn't, I wouldn't listen to me either. No, I missed, no, he just lost it. He misplaced it. Go! Go! He said go, Joe. He hooked it back where it wouldn't float off. He's smarter than average, Barry. Look at that good looking boat. The whole house? Look at that boat. Look at that boat. Now, would you just look at that boat? Eleven. Somebody stole Jay. I shouldn't have read that out loud. <laughs> Why I did? Thirteen. Fourteen. Hey, I'm legal. You send another email or? I had to take in the door. Joe, you sent me a text, I guess, last time. I, I don't got an email from you. I got to better turn some lights. You know what? On. You didn't get bait, did you? I told you we needed bait out of the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. I got bait. Y'all want some? <laughs> Now's not the time, Bob. I'm not even sure it will be. Too soon. <laughs> Too soon, brother. Now, we might should mute this one. This may not. Let me get my hand on the mute button. My bad, dude. Hey, at least it cranked up, y'all. Look. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. Man, they got a long dock. It's alive. For now. <laughs> this house said, don't you dare mute this. <laughs> <laughs> PG, PG, PG. <laughs> hey, go get bait. Go get bait, woman. Go get bait. <laughs> <laughs> James, you can't. James, you know you can't depend on me. I'll launch my own. Take yours. Oh, 
Oh, Viking said he made a new Facebook. Come on, I don't blame him. I'd cancel the other one. Did you get some of the things he said to me this morning? I couldn't repeat. Did did you get did did you get hit up for some money, uh, Dustin? I did not. Oh, she left her phone here. Oh, you gotta go get bait. You're about the only one then. I got hacked. My Facebook account got hacked one time, and my my wife sat there and talked to him for about fifteen minutes. They said they they said that they were me in Europe with I was with my wife and we got stranded and we needed some money and my wife's like that's funny, I'm at work. <laughs> he hit me up last night and I I said you ain't getting any money from me you thief. Boom, he was gone just like that. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's I, sad I, is that, that time that I got taken over. Um, somebody from my office actually came to find me to make sure I was in the office because they were going to send money. Oh my goodness! Uh, now I That's guess it's not sad. It's it, it's you know it's nice to know that they would have done that, but right. Oh, I was ready to. I I you know I was like yeah I'll send him a hundred dollars. Then I was like this ain't right, and I, and they, and they were they were typing in broken English. I was like no this yeah. isn't southern English. This is broken English. This ain't Zach. <laughs> Danny Stone said Jody's going to run back to the house and grab one skipjack. Probably so. <laughs> James, I'm her phone's you. about to die. So, what's Uh-oh. about to die? Her phone. Her phone's about oh, to die. Phone. Of course, you know she's not going to charge it. I know. Did you send me a link to get in here? She was supposed to send it to you. Yeah, she was supposed to get the bait too. There you go. Oh wait, Daryl TSO live. Never mind. You got it. All right. No, it just it. says live at six thirty. Oh, I tried to send it, but I couldn't get it to send on mine because I'm on my computer. I guess I don't know. I don't know. Hang on just a second. Let me go. If I go into your feed, is it posted in your feed? Uh, Yes. Hang on. I can't hear. I'll post it again if you want me to. Because her phone's going to be dead any second. That's how I got it. I'm going going to go in there right now. Is the bait shop going on tonight? It's going to be dead any second. That's how I got it. I'm going to go in there right now. All right. There you go. Is the bait shop going on tonight? Uh, you know, I'm not sure. I need to think about that. There, you know, that's the thing it is. There's some show on every single night. You know, if you're out yeah. on a weeknight fishing, you're going to come over on somebody. Because, I mean, they go from, from 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock every single night. There you go. I got you. Dun, ta-da. Dun, ta-da. There you are, sir. Ooh, there's a big, there went a big gar. Gar. I mean, they're even on Sunday. Yeah, they got shows on Sunday now. Uh, I don't know if I got any permanent ones on Saturday, but every other day they do. So it's like, how do you do a live and not walk on top of somebody? There's just no way anymore. Yeah. So, I mean, I hate it, but what do you do? <laughs> Mitz I said, the bait what? I never heard of it. <laughs> that's why i always hit you up see if you're gonna be out fishing and if we're out there we'll come over with you if you want us to since you have a show at night i've done that what about three times now mm-hmm. try to be respectful but i mean what do you do yeah yeah it's hard it is yeah i mean because i don't fish weekends very often either most of my time is fishing on a weeknight so. right What's up, Dale? Dale said, cool cats. Hello, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Mid- Fishing with Mid-South said, Dustin has a channel. Yes, sir, he does. What? I don't. Can you drop your link in here, uh, Dustin? I don't know how to drop it. Drop your link in there. Yeah, I'll get it. Anybody ever wants to share links whenever I've got my live up, you feel more than free to, guys. Uh, if you're in here, if you don't mind. Uh, Joe, I've got something now from you, I think. Okay, let me back this thing up. Now, I can't believe I have not caught a single skipjack all white bass. Yeah. 
All right. I don't. You guys help me out because I don't know how to while we're live how to make a mod. Do I just click on them on the right there? I don't think you can do it when you're live. I might be wrong. Yeah, well, you have to do it. You can either. You have to do it from YouTube or from another video. You can't do it within Streamyard. Okay. So I what if okay? So if I go on my with my phone, can I do it? Yes. Okay. Let me see if I can do something here, right quick, guys. I need some more mods. No good. Dale got Dale. There you go. Team Snag and Whiskers. Okay. Oh, All right. Yeah, popped in and saw that you made me a mod. I appreciate that. All these folks. I know I got dead air. Dustin, please anybody see Fish on. Oh, we got Fish on. I can't bring him up full screen. But I got him. I got him. I bet it's a white bass. What do you want to bet? I'll bet you yeah. uh, nothing. He's in the boat. Quick release. Quick release. <laughs> hey, 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 oh, hey, dropped hey. him. Penalty. Penalty. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. <laughs> Robert, Robert. Hello. Hello. Hello, people. Okay, you look funny. I know, right? <laughs> called him on the bait caster i like to switch out between the spinner and the bait caster easier on the wrist i prefer a, i prefer a bait caster i can't stand spinning reels anymore yeah i swap out i learned that from hagen he's having trouble with like carpal tunnel or something and if you switch up while you're you get jack fishing you it seems to be it's like it's two different methods or something i don't know it well you're actually switching hands so i fish with a spinning rod or spinning rod in my right hand and a bait cast in my left so you're switching hands okay i guess that makes sense different motion all right i just made a bunch of mods right there guys if i missed somebody that i normally would have made a mod hit me up or if i missed i, I went back several folks so hey steve um how you doing oh well we're not fishing tonight uh because i got some stuff i got to take care of tonight um but uh we will be fishing tomorrow night and we will be fishing uh this weekend so just keep an eye out not necessarily on track or... cool cats what are we what are we looking at <laughs> i was thinking the same thing i didn't know what that was all right <laughs> Another fish. How many do you think you've caught now, Bob? About 30? I don't know. 35? You got to back me down some. 30, you can throw those in the boat first, though. Well, you're heavy up here tonight, man. Maybe. All right. James, I muted you, so once y'all get back in the water and everything, I'll turn you back on. Okay. I'm a mutant kind of man. It's been fun to catch up. You like using a small bait caster like that better than a spinning reel bottle? Not For, better, just it gives my wrist a break. I find it's easier to boat flip a fish with the spinning rod than it is with the, with the bait caster because I'm right hand dominant. And if you try to boat flip them with a bait caster, you got to do it with your left hand. Yeah. Joe, thanks for sharing out uh, everybody's stuff. And Dale also, appreciate it. Uh, I won't hook into a big one. Uh oh. I got about half of everybody muted. 
That's not as big as some of them you've caught. No, he ain't, he ain't all that big. He's pooped all over my boat. He's full of poop. Brandon needs to be out there, and you could uh, give him a bunch of white bass. Yeah, too. I can fill him up with white bass if he's out here. I never realized there was a 15 limit. I didn't either. Good or not, you learn something new every night, don't you? It is a beautiful night, Billy. Hopefully, the bite's on for the white bass anyway. Bob's caught probably 40 of them at least. I'm a slow mess of them. Yeah, I'm I see the sun dipping down behind the tree line there. I'm going to have to change when I get through this. I'm going to change the uh, uh, picture and <laughs> and change the title and put Kitchen White Bass one right after the other. I, I'll send you that picture of the cooler. <laughs> I, hey, I've got it on the live. I can click it out. I'm glad you didn't fill it up before we found out the limit, then take a picture of it. <laughs> well, I did, I've taken inventory a couple of times. I currently have 14 in there. Yeah. Dusty, Bob, Bob didn't, we didn't realize there was a limit. We found out that 15 is the most you can have. <laughs> he was about to fill the cooler up. I saw, I saw you ain't never skip jack. Hey boy, skip jack officer. Hey boy, you have boy. a hundred, right? What you doing, boy, boy? Not, not, baby. Grandbaby goes to bed. Grand baby there. Yeah, he's going to bed. They're putting him in bed. He goes to bed about eight. That's why we're up at six. <laughs> Five to six in the morning. Roger that. He should sleep good. He barely had a nap. David uh, Chris said train bite. Train bite. We'll call that a choo choo choo. Maybe they'll start chewing. Yep. I wish they'd turn another generator on. I'd cut some of them up and bump with them. But they ain't going to do it, I don't reckon. Yeah. Well, they ain't running hardly nothing. I'll look and see what they're doing, but it, last time I looked, it was like 7,000, 8,000, something, 7,000. Yeah, it hadn't changed since I've been here. Yeah. 79.84. They've went down about 50. <laughs> see yeah. if you... We've been live an hour and 42 minutes. I bet you've caught uh, a fish, average to fish about every three minutes anyway. And sit and talk to about people. A, uh, about every six cast, I reckon. Eight, six, eight cast. You probably got it by yourself up there by now. Well, there's one, two, three. There's three boats up right at the dam, up against the dam, one sitting in the bowl. One on the eddy line, one right up against the gates, the spill gates, pontoon boat. My little my little Asian buddy, he's up there. He's a good dude. He he, he always takes his little uh, he's got a little dog about the size of Oreo that goes out on a boat with him. He's a good guy. He's Billy, a good Christian fella Joe. too. Yeah. I agree, Joe. Billy, uh Billy Joe is a good guy for sure. Appreciate him doing what he's doing, sharing all that out like that. But them catfish has got to eat sometime. Just got to. Well, it looks like James is moving off. I'm glad to see J Jody's boat. Right there. You don't think they've already started spawning, do you? I mean, I've been catching a lot. We've been seeing a lot of beat up fish. They could be. I don't even know. Let's see. I got to turn my camera around. All right. I'm glad to see both of you got going now. Joey's out in the elements. James is all protected. Nice and cozy. I know. I, I hate him. He's, he's, he's so <laughs> high society now. I mean, I don't hate him. I'm jealous. That's it. I'm just jealous. Now, anybody get something that nice, I'm proud for him. All right, I think I'm right now. Like, uh, I have to live in it. Well, he said he's going to be living in it. I'd have to. My wife killed me and kicked me out of the house. 
<laughs> That's your doghouse, then. Exactly. But I, I'm not sure I, I wouldn't want to be kicked out of the house, but I'll say saddle. I don't think I'd mind living in it. <laughs> Too much. I know which side of my bread's better, don't I? I ain't living on a boat and leaving my wife. I ain't that stupid. <laughs> my wife takes well care of me. I ain't going to say she don't. I mind does too. Until I make a mad. Well, that's just, that's just me and that's just us in general, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty much. But well, Jody, is that voter running or not? Oh, I'm trying to get my son out hooked up. Oh. Oh, that thing cranked hey. right up for uh, when you put it in when it, you backed it in the water. He cranked that thing and it cranked right up. So that's great. Oh, fish, 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 fish on, fish on, fish on. So you got a hey, little guy, a little guy, a little guy, a little guy, a little guy. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. These guys are feisty. Ready? I'm going to crank it. Oh, let's, not, let's do it. Go for it. Oh, hey, boy. Hey, like a like a kitten. Oops. <laughs> right uh -oh. Cut off. Nice fish, Bob. Come on, crank that thing up. Y'all don't I know. This, this, this thing has left Jody stranded about three times or four times over the weekend. And she just got it out of the shop and it quit running again. What's going on, Sampy? I, just, I, I can't get this stupid sonar to come on. That's what makes me mad. Calm down, Jody. <laughs> Calm down. I thought it was James with a hate and discontent. Now it's Jody. The other one was easy peasy. I don't know why this one's difficult. Is that a new one? Yeah, it's a new it's one. One James put on for. What's James, up with that? James is just creeping away. I can't. <laughs> Even get it in the stupid hole. Come on now. Quit being hateful. She told him James or the or the graft. I will lose this you. knob too. <laughs> yeah, I'll be you right back. I'm sorry, Destin. What'd you say? I'll be right oh, back. Okay, bud. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Smith. James is out there and he'll be screaming in a minute. We just got 22 people in here. Thank you, everybody, for coming in. If you don't mind, hit the thumbs up, share us out. If you hadn't ever subscribed, I hadn't seen anybody new, but if you had never subscribed, hit the subscribe. And if you don't know for sure if you subscribed, been took off, check it and see. I'd appreciate it. We appreciate you. Appreciate you. We appreciate oh you. Twenty-three. I'm gonna sit down for a while. Thirty-nine thumbs up. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, look! I can see me on Jody's camera. I need your help. You <laughs> and here he comes back to rescue her. You need me to tow you out? No, I can't get this sonar hooked up. I couldn't get hooked why, up last time I tried to use it. Why can't you get it hooked up? I don't know. Joe, do you can talk to cables in the right spot. Well, the cables are all, they're geared. I mean, they got their keys, so you can only put them in one way unless you really cram them in there. Did yeah. you turn the power button on? Hang on, I'm coming. I got to put my phone down for a minute. Back your 
you know, you know, all you gotta do is talk to him through the phone. He'll hear you. What? Just, I said, just talk to your phone. He'll hear you. Hey, James. James. <laughs> Pull up your window up here and reach your hand out the window. Don't you scratch on that side. You know what? If I'm just gonna keep sitting here, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a piece of white bass on this bumper. Off. Well, I wish I'd have said that to, for you to do earlier, Bob. <laughs> you, you're so smart. I don't know why I didn't think about telling you well, that. I'm, I'm smart that way, Daryl. Then you can catch one more white bass. Hey, that's a good idea. See, when I, 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 I count as possession if it's on my hook. I don't know. I'm saying it's a technicality there that you should be able to get th get away with. Well, I got some frozen skipjack in here, so I'm gonna put that on the hook. I almost got it. I got it instead. Okay. Put a big skipjack head on there. Hi, hi, Kevin. Got it. Yeah. Permission to come oh, yeah. aboard. Once you're on board, they're sitting here. Uh, hey. hey, Jody, did you put your phone on charge? Yep. James said it was about dead. Okay. Thank you for reminding me, Mr. Smith. <laughs> I just lost that knob. I just got it. We don't lose another one. I don't. Did you look and see if it's hooked up at the battery? Nope, dropped in the wall. Yeah, you got them crammed in here, Ron. I need the other one. The other one had a quick connect. I need to buy that. I know, let's see. I didn't Four. know which one to get. I would have got it. No, like you're a fart smeller. You know what? He's talking to me. I said he's a fart smeller. I mean, a smart feller. Smart fart smeller. Smart fart smeller. Yeah, I like this better. Welcome back. Yeah, what do you think? A bumping rig with a dragon weight on it. There you go. See? You like it? Just talk. Just, I, know I would where just I'm phoning it. It's gonna get hung up if I just put a flat weight on it. Thanks, James. Yeah, the key. Well, you know, you could have just dropped it right beside the boat, but anyway, that'll work too. I like right it. Right right right. right. Where's your transducer? Probably come loose off the back. Let me see. Is that clear? Something come up and eat that old get back head. Kind of a bed. Yeah. Well, if I'm gonna sit here, I might as well have a rod soaking, right? Hey, John. Hey, James. Do it again. No, let me come back here and look at your transducer. Transducer is disconnected. Power down and check transducer connection to enable sonar. Is like that is that unit that, got a cradle? Does it sit in a cradle? Does it sit in the cradle? No. Yeah. Does no, it have it's just little pins on the back? It's just no. No, it just goes in a bracket, fish. Bob. That feels like a skipjack. I don't know. I'll be a white bass. Powered off. Because mine, sometimes I have to pop it loose and put it back in. Oh, oh. Lord. Oh, bloody. What you got, Bob? I didn't know the white bass. It's probably it was a big skip. Maybe that's in the wrong hole. It's not. It's only got one. Well, key. he's fatty, too. Yep. Look at me. You think they would have gave James a free hat with that boat? They probably did. I got three hats. See there, you got three caps. Three caps. I don't know. It looks like it's plugged in, right? I had trouble with my old Garmin doing that. I had to smack it. No, you don't have to smack this. It's brand new. I'm telling you, they're all plugged in, right? So sometimes I have to take mine loose and pop it back in and wiggle it. Oh, it could be the connection right here. Yeah, that's what yeah, that's, I was always at the hit. There it's working. Okay. Is it in tight now? Oh, uh, you can tighten it up all the way. I don't think it is. Okay. 
We good to go. Hey, they got it going and it didn't drop it in the river. That's good. Teamwork. So, so where are you going? going? We're going. We got another train coming, Bobcat. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think we have it. So many options. Two shoes. Please a bang and bang. Yep. That's that yeah. I'll check the booty out since that's what I'm pushing. Hey, Bob, one thing about it, you got your patch on the back of that old junkie vest you got on. You look like you work for the ATF and got a dang bulletproof vest on. <laughs> that's a snag, a snag proof vest. Yeah. Yeah, I left both of my inflatable jackets in Brandon's oh. boat. No, no, Oh, I trimmed it up, didn't I? Yeah. I ain't worn one of these since my white water in days. I heard that. I'm trying to get that bumping rod in there, right. but I don't think I can. Uh, it's it's like fine. Turn, turn yeah, it, it back where it was. Well, you can always turn it if you catch one. Which I guess we can holler. You got a bite. Go ahead. You good. Yeah. Oops. Make sure to high stick it if you catch a big one. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, the James need to get out of the way. <laughs> I'm out Don't the way. Bad him. Don't you badmouth him after he's come over and launched your boat, fixed your dang fish finder because you hooked it up backwards. Now you're going to badmouth him? Jeez, please. That's what right I say. Thank you. Going. Oh my gosh, that's 16 miles an hour. That's just, just too fast for me. Well, he's in a wake washer. Yeah, he's running to the side of my boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there she goes. Yep. Let's go. And There she goes. And we muted her. Here you go. Here you go. That's really got to annoy her. Well, that was a long run, wasn't it? She could have she could have rode that far in about fifteen. Glad you got seconds. to your, your spot safely, Jody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Such a long run, huh? <laughs> I don't like to fish more than a mile away from my truck. What's she on about? Bob, you ain't never fished over a half mile away from your truck. <laughs> and then you go, I ain't got no gas in it. It ain't got no gas right now. It's on empty. Uh-oh, we lost James. Ain't that beautiful side? My gas ain't quit. Wow, boy, howdy. You better get it. If that's, not, if that's catfish. I don't know what it is. It's the first time I've really got to use it. She's got, it's something. She's got it on promo mod or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> she's got it on demo. Demo mod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <hot>. <laughs> <laughs> boy, that's good. That's a good graph like that. Look at, the, look at all them fish. All Everywhere I go, the fish look the same. Yeah, what's that up in the right hand corner that says demo? I just can't catch them though. What is them fishes? <laughs> we got a lot of bait fish. Yeah, I see a bunch I of I can't tell that deep is 32 foot. It's hard to tell when you're stopped how big a fish is because. I'm not. I'm doing uh, 4.15 miles an hour. Oh, okay. Excuse me. I'll shut up. I always do four miles an hour when I'm scanning. That way the fish all look the same. Four miles an hour? Yeah. Hour. Uh, there's some pretty fat. There's some decent ones down there on the bottom. Let's look. I don't think they're bait fish. Look at that one. That, no, that's a bait ball right there. That's right? a bait ball right there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Now them three fish in front of that are pretty decent fish. Yeah. But I can't tell by your chart if what they are as far as because you got all kind of different colors going there. Oh, Bobcat got hung up. Yeah, I did. I'm probably yeah. First one of the night. I will. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll bring you a sumo spoon. Man, I wouldn't use them fine. 
Like space invaders, I know, right? Next thing you know, you had this little thing going across the bottom and shooting a little fish. Oh no! Yeah, space invaders. Come on, Joe, did you lose something? Mm -hmm. All right, Joe, appreciate you coming in. Appreciate you, Joe. Hey, it's only it's not nine o'clock yet. It's still just eight. 31. No, to you throw, that's right. I'm up on my other rig. Jody, what'd you say I'm no for? Yeah. Just like Dale said, you won't know till you throw. If I seen all that right there, you couldn't make me move out of that spot for at least 30 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. You guys slapped me silly. Uh, Dan River Boys wants to know what kind of model uh, Garmin that is, Jerry. Oh, boy. Okay. And she gone again. She gone. Uh oh, Koo Cats is back in here. Yeah. yeah. What I, there what he I is. Let's throw, let's throw some green. Is <laughs> that the problem? Nah. 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 What, why are you drifting then? I'm checking out my sonar. That's oh, okay. I'm going to go back over that spot. With she showed about 50 million fish and left them. Yeah. I'm going back to that spot and see what it looks like on this image. Hey, take that off of Demo Demo, will you? That's what I told her. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got it on Demo, don't you? Well, oh, she's going to run right into him. She's trying. <laughs> Dad, you played a dirty trick on her, didn't you? Yeah. Where I go, these trees all look the same. That's where it looked like. I put it on demo. It was on demo. Oh, it was on demo. There's a few fish in here. Where's she at? She's going to run into me. I'll be right back. You know she will. Okay, buddy. I know. I can't. He's right in front of me because I'm just putting his weights. Oh, I don't, I'm crawling. I'm not even going. It doesn't matter. You done disturbed the water. Oh, oh, I, I, oh my goodness. Listen to her and her high end sonar. I'm in your cavitation. I can't see anything. I'm not even moving. How do y'all manage to argue this much and you're not even on the boat together? <laughs> just, uh, just talented. It's getting rough for about a second. I'm just trying to figure out which one to kick off. There's all sorts of fish here. They're called bait fish. He's trying to figure out how to get that demo mode. It's a, I don't remember, 7SX, oh, okay. clear view, I don't remember. James, uh, Fish in Mid-South said when she murders you, can he have your boat? Yeah. My son will have it at the dealership so fast. <laughs> Inheritance, sell that boat. <laughs> He's got my uh, boat dealer on speed dial. All right, I'm back. Yeah, I told him, you can't, I go, you can't sell my boat if I'm still around. He goes, you're just one ankle sprain away from me selling off your boat. Dang it. <laughs> wow. All right, he's brutal, man. Brutal kid. Man, he said he's going to put me in an all-male nursing home. Oh, Lord. Maybe he takes after his dad. Yeah. Well, there she goes. How big of a head start you want me to give her? <laughs> oh. I muted her. I didn't want to yep. do it. Mid South says, James, when she takes you out, can he have your boat? Yeah. Yeah, that's just what I, that's what we was talking about just now. No. Oh, sorry, I'm a little behind. As usual. Right. We've had this. Well, let's go, let's, let's go get her. Oh, now they're gonna race each other up and down the river. Oh, Giddy up. I'm gonna go for 
I'll do circles around it, like I said. Nah. I'll be nice. We see your headlights coming in behind her. Yeah. He's got some lights on that thing. The bass boat That's through her wake. I don't want to pass her because I don't want to wake wash her. She'll get all mad. Oh, you know what? I got my ladder down and back still. That's why my boat's dragging. <laughs> Let me go fix that. Put my nav light on. Oh. Hang on, folks. It just keeps uh, on. Yep, just keeps getting better. Hang on. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate you saying that. Hey, I was missing trying to do, see any fishing or doing anything. I, I, said, I need to get some watch hours and I ain't fished since the gathering. That's been three weeks ago almost. Oh, you still fish? Huh? You, you still fish? I thought you got rid of all your stuff. Yeah, ain't shut up. Don't kick <laughs> a man when he's down, especially when he can't chase you down and beat your brains in. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, I, yeah, I, I got a step ladder for the boat, so you should be able to get in it now. There you go. Maybe next week. <sighs> All right, let's go get her now. She's going. I know. Right, I know right where she's going to. Look at Jody, like a free woman. Yeah. Yeah. Not. Not. Yeah. She's as free as the birds. Got her boat back now. She's uh, she's back to being who she is. Oh, 16 miles an hour. Let's say she's all right. 16, 17 miles an hour. Yeah, let's see. And I'm up to uh, 33, 35, 39, 40, 41, 41. And I ain't even trimmed up yet. He's a moon. Yeah, about 42, 42, 42 is it. That is quiet in the cab. You can't even hear that motor. Jody, we got her on meat. Mm. <laughs> I think she just gave me the bird. <laughs> Look at her shaking her head. <laughs> Go out here to the buoy. That's where she's going. <laughs> he knows where she's going. Go fish your deal. Leave her over there by herself. She goes over here where it's like three feet deep. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Yeah, you got to pay attention out here because they got this big area. And a lot of this area, if you look around, you can see like birds standing up in the water because it's only like a foot deep. I see guys all the time running their boats into this. Yeah, you can do that on Chickamauga real easy also in places. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I almost done it with that other boat. I was there, I think. That was in that Carolina skiff too, and I was like, ooh, because you'll get in it quicker than you realize it. I learned real quick to uh, stay around the, the – stay in the channel until you wanted to go over somewhere else and then – Take your time and make sure that it's not shallow over there. Yeah, it looks like the fish did quit on Bobcat. Of course, she's sitting there eating, looks like. I'm eating fish. Sardine, yeah. man. Yeah. Well, uh, mustard. I can see her lights. Here, here she comes. You watch. She's going to go blasting by me. Smoke Perry. I can hear her motor. <laughs> yeah. At least it's running good. Yeah, that's a good thing. And here she comes, and there she goes. She don't mind to wash you out, does she? Nah, she ain't got to wash. I think she just flipped me off again. <laughs> there she goes. She better slow down because she's heading right for that shallow area. Yeah, she's going to go run aground here. That's not good. Better turn left. No, oh, there, she's slowing down. She's going to run out right into that. She knows what she's doing, James. She says, yeah, get some flatheads. I heard flathead spots the other side. Oh, okay. I'll mark that down. 
Yo <laughs> said that's a tough eating right there. Good stuff. Smoke fish, baby. Ugh. Yeah, I'm, I'm already in 12 foot of water. So she's probably. How deep is it where you're at, Jody? I see some kitties. How deep is it there? 19.9. I'm in like six foot. <laughs> oh, usually when I go up there, it's four foot to three foot. Yeah, I figured you're already in the shallow area. No. I'm going to fish here since I see cats. You got a creeper, Jody. You got a creeper. <laughs> I see if you see, yeah. Uh, boat registration and license, please. He's a stalker. <laughs> <laughs> Look into the light. Forward. Just stay away from Bob. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bob Is that bright? Yeah. yeah, whatever you're doing, Bob, it makes it look like you got your hands up on that uh, on that boat or that uh, train car up there. Put your hands up there and put it on it. That white car. Okay, okay. Now watch Jody. There was one tub. There's two tubs. She's moving the third tub. That's three tubs. I got blankets. I got towels. I got clothes. You got you got everything that you own in that boat right now. There's like seven tubs back there. Well, there you go. Coats, tubs, whatever you want to call them. She's prepared, James. No, that'll be something she didn't get. You wait see at least two items. I could say something, but I'm not going to. Thank you. <laughs> That's just too kind of you. Too kind of you. <laughs> we still got 25 folks in here. Appreciate everybody hanging around. Don't be nice on their account, Jody. Yeah, be nice on their account. Be nice or not nice? No, don't be nice. No, that's bad television. <laughs> 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 yeah. Here, hit him with this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally down to half a tank of gas. I'm trying to get down to a quarter tank so when I drive to Virginia, it's not so heavy. There you You're go. Right on top of them hey, does that the uh, forerunner have a V6 or a V8 in it, James? Does the what? The forerunner's got a V8. Forerunner's got a V8. Yeah, oh, I couldn't imagine. No, the way Jody was driving it back from the up there, she was like screaming, doing eighty-five. I was getting like six not, miles a gallon. I did not know they made a forerunner with a V8. Uh, they did it for like three years, and there's not a whole lot of them, and they're in pretty high demand. So I'm trying to figure out how y'all two are gonna. I'm sorry for interrupting you, Bob, but I'm trying to figure out how you two are going to fish seeing how you're right behind her boat. Don't worry, well, I'm just going to go where she can't cast. She's going to cast over me no matter where I go. <laughs> I pulled ahead of the fish. Right? And I'm sitting right on top of them, honking my horn and beeping. So this is going to crash. That's the most thing I've ever What is it? Is that correct, Jody Bob? Oh, yeah, that's what it is. That's every night, isn't it, Jody? The bottom and I like the tension. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll go over here where there's fish okay. now that you scared them all away. Scared them all away? Appreciate that. It's a nice, it's a nice. At least our boat's got numbers on it. I ain't even put my numbers on yet. It's expired. I forgot to put my new on. You're going to get a ticket. I, I got 30 I got 30 days so I'm not past my 30 days yet. I just got to get my numbers made up so I can put them on. I got the stickers already. I don't even know why I got side image. I very rarely use it. Some people really like side image, so Right there side image? Yeah. Hey, I'm getting bit on the bumping rod. Whoa. Oh, I got a fish. Get that ah, let, it, let it go. Get that. Oh, here's, look, here's where all the fish are at. <laughs> Get that channel in. That's probably what it is. That's, That's sure or not so. That's probably what it is. Old channel cat I eating on it. <laughs> Get it. We got here. Let's go, blue cat. David Smith says, looks like two people leave, uh, leaving the same house driving differently to go eat at the same restaurant. Yeah, yeah same restaurant. 
Because I guess I need to. No. No, but I figured you never know. Her boat just hasn't been tested yet since he worked on it, but it looks good now. But if she would have came out here and I was with her and she died, then there would have been nobody to go get my boat and bring it out and get her. Yeah, I heard that. Excuses. Yep, Joe, we've got one of those forerunners also. Ain't that a forerunner? What mama's got? Kevin. Toyota forerunner, ain't it? You don't even know what your wife drives? Boy, Mr. Observant. I don't pay a t I, I could care less about a car. I'm loving my Tundra. Only uh, As long as it gets me there and back again, I could care less. If it's a no, Chevrolet, a Dodge, a, well, I won't buy a Chevrolet, but a Ford, a Dodge, a Toyota, whatever. It's some type of Toyota. I think it's a forerunner. I was talking to somebody earlier today, Bob, about the... the uh, Tundra. I'm like, those things are too heavy for me. Yeah. Not the first gens. They're, they're not much bigger than a Tacoma. Yeah, the, the first ones were small. My GM one. Yeah, my forerun my forerunner's a 206. A 206 is what mine is. I thought Jody had already caught, caught a catfish and it was a skipjack she's holding up. <laughs> she just stripped his clothes off. Yeah, my, my Tundra is a 2006. Oh, younger Tundra. His was, Joe said his, his son's was a 2005, 2006. Not sure, but it was tough. I like ours. I think ours is a 2020, 2020 or 2021. I can't remember which. Boy, I wish I had your money. Whew. I know. I, <laughs> if, you did, if, I, if you had my money, you'd buy one of those big Hue boats with a cab on it. <laughs> yeah, I heard they're I heard they're selling them cheap now. Now that I got one. Uh, I'd let Bill Ford have one. one so. My wife would cheat me if I bought one. Yeah, so would my. Oh wait, I ain't got a wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, my 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 son just about had a fit, and I keep telling him, you just forget about that inheritance stuff. That ain't happening. All your yeah, I know. He's he's upset. Then make his he's own way. He's like he's like going. Are you going to the bank again? I'm like, stop it. <laughs> I go. You got to get all your money out of the bank now before they all go under, and you can't get your money anyway. <laughs> Just uh, kick him out of the house. Like here here all the what are we looking at anyway on James's boat? I'm I'm getting ready to set it up. Right, hang on. I'm uh, going the anchor out. Look, I'm, I'm trying to throw the anchor out. A professional would already had that set up for us guys, you know. I'm just saying. Oh heck no. Heck Anchor, no. How do you use one of them? Yeah. Good lord, I don't know a whole lot about Jody's boat. Look at his boat. I know, cluttered. There's there's your step there. There uh Mr. Yeah. Mean. It looks like a rummage sale's going on in the back of his boat. I got a pellet. I got my sleeping bag. I got fruit. Look at apples on the floor, deck in the back. But yeah, that's right. He was giving her a hard time. Now listen to this. Yeah, that oh, was look at <laughs> Hey, guess what? I don't have 17 tubs. I just spread it all over. Who puts a stepladder on their boat? Uh, that's for people like Daryl with no knees. Oh. It's, not, it's, hard to get, it's hard to get in here if you're coming from the dock because the uh, first step is if you got short legs, you can't make it over. First step's a doozy. Okay. So, yeah, so they just step on these. Boink, boink, boink. So, let me set my camera up the other way so I can put this up. Is that the, that's the room. Look at that. Ah, bright. When I get, when I get there. Up there, I'm, I'm going up there to fish with James. We're going to have a ball. If you're not gonna fish, bring me a fresh skipjack. What? Who went out? <laughs> Bob was, no, not Bob. Who went out? Why? James went out. We lost James. Oh, I can hear you. Well, we lost him. Don't worry. He's talking to her from his boat. You can hear him. Yeah. yeah I can hear you loud and clear. What'd you call him? <laughs> you know, don't take that button off her and quit screaming like that. I think she called him peculiar. Yeah, it was it. Is that the word she used? Bud Light or something. I don't know. He 
He wants you to put the link back up. He can't find it. This stuff's hard as a rock. Daryl. Oh, he wants me to put the link back up? I just realized what she said. All right. We got you. It took, it, it took me a little bit. They do knee surgery on you or lobotomy? Yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah. There you go, James. Hey, Buckeye, I, I resemble that remark. And, and good evening, sir. I she know said, what I'm catching out. I'm sure the fish are gone. She casts like Daryl. Man. Rough girl. I'm sorry, Jody. He's seen my last video. Hey, I fish from a boat. I, why do you... What I've never understood is people fish from a boat and they try to throw a hundred yards out from their boat. Why didn't you just park down there if that's where you wanted to fish at? Just saying. That's all right, Rhonda. You help enough. You just relax. You sit back and watch the show. Oh, hit it again. Hit it again. Take it. Take it. Take it. Well, hang on. Don't Fishing don't. with whiskers, you're not a mod. Let me fix that. I, I told you, Rhonda. Nothing. I don't believe nothing left in that skid jack head and lips and gills. Hit it again. Why is it? I don't know why, but I did, for some reason I just hit live chat and it says live chat has been removed. Oh. There it is. There it is. I got it. Oh, I got you, Rhonda. Did you make her mind? No, no, no. I just she said she, she doesn't know how to do it. James's vote. <laughs> you gonna try to hit James's vote? Is that what you said? Can a man? Can a managing moderator? Does anybody know? Does a, can a managing moderator make other mods? Or I think so. The weird is part is. Oh. Yeah, right, Joe. I ain't gonna stop hitting it now that I sit down. Dust, I'm gonna make you make you that. Hang on just a minute. Where is All right. Type something in, Dustin, where I can make you that. We'll see if you can or not. Hold on, hold on. Let me try my other channel. Hold on a second. Okay. That was already in my radar. Let's try this other one. Yeah, well, I was going to just make you a super mod. Yeah, let's super do this mod. channel. Super mod! I can't win. Oh, okay. I see what you're talking about. You're a managing moderator now, if you accept it. Now, see if you can make somebody. I didn't know what that did, so I didn't do anything with it, just to be honest with you. It's like, I don't know, I'm just going to hit standard. Looks like I've gave pretty much everybody a wrench in here. They can work on this channel now. There you go, the other one, that clicker's still on. Dang it, Jody. That's all right. She wasn't trying to fish a mile away anyway. She's only fishing in three foot of water. Oh, I'm cool cats. I'm 12 now. Oh, is she? I'm sorry, cool cats. I left you hanging out there, brother. Yeah, I know. I was trying to work on some stuff. No problem. Now, now I'm talking about this, you got to come in and somebody that's not a moderator, see if you can make, well, you might can just click on somebody and see if you can make a, a moderator yeah, or not. I, I didn't, it, it gave me more stuff, but it didn't, it didn't give me the option to make them a moderator, so I'm, I'm doing some research real quick. Okay. You bump it, Bob? No, I'm just casting it back here. 
I got a dragon slinker on it so it don't get snagged up real bad. You're you're doing the Steve uh this a Steve Douglas challenge, one rod, one hour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something like that. I, I did, did it. that challenge. I did it. I didn't catch a fish and I was honest enough to put the video up. I caught a flathead in ten minutes. I didn't I, saw, do it. I was the only person that I saw that put up that put up a video that got skunked on that. I was like, at least I was honest enough to do it. You know what? And Steve yeah, put in there. Uh, and, and Steve actually put in that video. Thanks for being honest. I was like, hey, you don't catch him, you don't catch him. And I didn't catch him. We had an issue where we was going to fish at was a dock or a barge, and we was there about twenty minutes, and they come and moved the barge on us. I was like, man. <laughs> I already had a bite, a canibble. A canibble. Yeah. Canibble. Yeah, I got tired of catching white bass. I probably gonna leave here in a minute. I'm gonna leave at nine o'clock. I gotta go home and fillet these things. Oh, that's it. That's four minutes away. Yeah, I'm gonna start packing crap up. <coughs> well, since you didn't bring enough rods to fish with, you might as well. I'm talking to a pumpkin at ten o'clock. <laughs> you just getting home where you can watch Destin show at ten o'clock. I like it. I'll be down in the basement playing fish at 10 o'clock. We still got 23 people in here. Thanks everybody for hanging around. You getting right. frustrated you, with it? No, I just looked at it. The last thing it says is uh, managing moderators cannot assign other moderators. That's crazy. What can he do extra then? So a managing moderator can. Okay. Um, turn live chat on and off. Fish on. Good job, Jody. I think. Let's go, Jody. She says she's got a monster on. Look there. See, you come on my live. You come on my live. And what happened? Oh, my God, it's a Striper. <laughs> She comes on my live, and what happens? She's breaking the. She's breaking the. I just got the net swimming up. Get him, Jody. So, Daryl. Yeah. Pontoon rides again. I can. Uh, I can turn your live chat on and off. I can make. Uh, I can do. Uh, I can turn on subscriber mode. Holy um, crap! It's what? I was going to put it on subscriber only, but I couldn't figure out how to do that myself. I'll do that for you. Hey, does Jody have a fish Thanks. on? I can't tell. Holy smoly! I think it's she got a big fish, apparently. I think Jody's got a fish on. Jody's got a monster. It's a big striper. I knew uh, it. A striper. There's a, there's oh, a lot oh, of strippers no. here. Oh no, we lost connection to Jody. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Jody, fix your camera. We can't see you. No, get off. I ain't even got my net ready. My net's well, ready. Oh, All right, I turned on your uh, subscriber only mode, Daryl. Thank you, sir. No problem. What's up, Woody? You need to come in here. <laughs> Listen back, Woody. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that smile on her face. <laughs> She got her boat fixed. She's catching fish. It don't get no better than chair. this. Look at that captain's chair. She's That's how she is the chair. <laughs> hey, Woody, if you're out there where you can come on, come on. He's so well. They got off. Oh. They did it. <laughs> oh. No. Big old, that's a big old strap. Wow. You're, but the problem is that's wrong fish. You're still scum. It's not cut up fish. Nice nice strapper. Is he is he bigger than thirty? I don't know. Hope so. Look like that fish. It looks like Captain Kirk's chair.
That's a big chair right now. It is a big chair. James, give me that chair. Yep. I was having a standing so, drive. Somebody hooked her up with a captain's chair. Yep. I like it. I wonder who that somebody could be, James. I don't know. Some fool? <laughs> no. <laughs> See, he does lots of nice things for me. He just likes to cut up and aggravate and everybody thinks he's hateful when he's not really. He's just having fun. He's just a kind-hearted, hateful person. Yeah, just a kind-hearted, bitter, hateful person. He's a, smear, he's a pure smart aleck, that's what he is. Oh, oh, I need to be in the boat with him. Yep. Yeah. Come on, baby, yeah. let's go. Man, I got some bugs, some mosquitoes, some mosquitoes out here. See the way I cast with no uh, clicker on? Isn't that amazing? I don't know. I couldn't hear. <laughs> it's too cold. Gators here. Man, no, I, 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 can't you see them on the on the camera? Look at them all. You got some bugs out there for sure. That was a little hook too. Don't, I'm not getting a hook in my finger. Be still. Be still. You know, you know what he's saying? He's saying you're going to get that hook in your finger. Probably. You're going to get him out of the net, but hey, never mind. I got a whale. So I got, I got a hook out just then. Well, thing I'm going to move my head back out and get the hook out of it. I got the hook out. Not going to lie. What do I sound like? You better get that fish back in the water. Yep, I was just thinking that too. She's a striper killer. Yep. That's, ain't that the truth? Take, your, take your weight off. Jody, take your weight off and it'll be easier to get out. Well, he's unhooked. I'm not going to worry about getting the hook out. He's got weight now. Another weight's going to roll off under the water. She's still got the handle in the net. I won't see how she's going to do this. I've done it many a time. There you go. You heading out, Bob? No, I'm just talking about the fish. No. Get the bite on my bumping rod back here. I took it. No, it ain't my fish. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Appreciate you dropping in, buddy. Cody's got a huge striper that she's weighing right now. Okay, get around me. What's up, Mikey? What's going on, Mike? Go. No, he ain't my PB. And then that will say 20 even by the time I take the net off. Yeah, somewhere around 20. That's a nice fish. Yeah. If that's an HD 80, the net weighs three, uh, 3 pounds. Well, she still had a handle in it, so it weighs more than that. My net was with the handle, it weighs 3 pounds, without it weighs 2. I think it's 4 and a half. You, you, got, you got one of the 80s? Yeah. Oh, no, that's a different name. Where, I that. My whisker that is a nice striper. You know what? We got a full moon, too. Come on, stand up so I can get the picture. <laughs> slime your hair now. Nice fish. Hey. Now get that thing back in the water. Way to go, Jody. Thanks. Shove him straight down. I am. There you go. Gone. And the release. The boat sunk. And all that water got caught up in the boat. I should have kept the only way to eat them. Who was going to cook it? Yo. Awesome. They're good on the grill. Do what, Bob? I said they're good on the grill. Yeah. The I didn't say who was going to cook it. They got a bunch of bones at the frost. I have to lay them out. Chunk them up. He's swimming right on the top. We still ain't went all the way down yet. But well, don't tell us that. We don't want to hear that. Why? Yeah, I know. You keep that shush, hush, hush. 
That's just part of fishing. I didn't make him bite my catfish hook. You're a striper killer. I'm a damn. Stripper killer, I mean. Stripper, stripper killer. killer. <laughs> That's why I said you're better off just to keep him. So I, I think he'll make it. The water's not that hot. It's not that, you know, they usually die because the water's so hot. And they... Hey, we got 30 people in here. That's pretty good. And Jody Land and the big ones. I just knew I had a big catfish, and when I seen on top of water, I'm like, crap. It's a striper. Michael Murillo, what's going on, brother? Wild ass snake in the house. For love, nice. James is fishing about 30 yards from Jody. Yep. Yeah. And she'll catch like 30 fish and I won't get any. Because <laughs> you're catching on the wrong side of the boat. But you know yeah. what? Look, look what's going on. Look at all the bugs he has. And he has zero bugs. I saw that. I noticed that as well. Why does he have no bugs? Because you got them all. All to you. I know, I definitely have them all. It's a full moon, too. Evidently, whatever different type lights y'all have, yours, yours brings them in and hers does. No, she's a mayfly person. She likes the mayflies. Dang, I Let me turn this one off. I love it when people sit out here and stand with their headlights shining right in your eyeballs. Yep. How rude. Ah. Who's got the wind? Me. I'm rude. <laughs> How could you have wind tonight? I don't. My hair's going to look. Where's that roller you always talk about putting on there? I'll have to find it in just a second. I didn't get the wind till just now, though, did I? I can't hear what you say. There's so much wind. I didn't get I the know. wind until just now, did I? Uh, it's been going a little bit, but it, I mean, it ain't real bad. But if you can put a curler on it, it'll help. Yeah, she was asking if she if, if the wind just now started or has she had it there? Oh, hit it, hit it again, hit it again. Take it, take it, take it. Christopher Whisker said they sent you a screenshot, Jody. Thank you. Come on. You killed oh, Bob. I don't think Bobcat's used to fishing this way. I'm not. No. <laughs> I don't fish this way. Stupid fish. <laughs> He's even anchor fishing. That's the scary part. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He's, used to, he's even actively doing something while he's fishing. Yeah. This kind of no flow, Bob. <laughs> no flow, yeah. Bob. They ain't gonna put a flow out for like weeks yet. Nope. They need rain. It's a bumping conspiracy, I think. Uh, Mike, I think I get outdoors. Watt Bar's running like 4,000. That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, See, tomorrow that's was what under 8,000. That's what leaks by when they have everything closed off is 4,000. Pretty much. Hey, butterflies and sunshine. Thanks for coming in. Butterflies and sunshine. We started this and thing out about... Two and a half hours ago, Bob was catching white bass by every fourth or fifth cast. Now they put out catfish. And, and now we are full moon and wind. <laughs> yeah, Jody caught a 20 pound strap a while ago. And James is out there trying to eat bugs. <laughs> well, the, wind, the wind's got rid of the bugs, so that's good. Yeah, I started to say your bug problems sort of went away, at not it? A little bit. It'll be back though. I got faith in it. Ooh, somebody muted Jody. She muted herself. No, yeah, because that wind was killing me. How's that? 
10, that's a lot better. better. Awesome, thank you. Welcome. Hey, guy finally turned his head like that. Thank you. So is mine. Yeah, we're gonna go to about nine fifty, and then I'm gonna shut this one down for sure. Oh, so okay, about thirty. Do what, Dustin? I'm gonna jump out about nine thirty. I get ready for the show. I understand. Well, we're gonna go out about. We'll probably go to about nine fifty and send everybody to your way. Oh, thank you. Appreciate you coming in there for sure. Absolutely. Hey, I didn't even see. I was paying attention to something else. Butterflies. What's going on? Yeah. The always amazing and wonderful butterflies and sunshine. Miss Shirley, she's not, see what's going on. she's not just butterflies; she's sunshine also. I got two. She's got split personalities. Man, I am like doing three sixties out here. Wow, even with the your own anchor too, aren't you? Yeah. Uh -oh, mind, I got if I bite. mind if I answer Buck's question, Daryl? No, go ahead. So uh on Team Snag and Whiskers show our channel tonight at ten o'clock Eastern time, we will have epic catfish and cat. Uh, in our in our show, uh, Snagging Night Live, talking about the mighty Mississippi. So Man, that's going to be epic. Anytime you want to say that, you feel free to do whatever you want to, Dustin. I appreciate it. I just don't like talking about my stuff on somebody else's channel. Unless nah, I don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I always don't worry about that. This is an old channel, as far as I'm concerned. I try to put anything like that. I try to put no borders on there. You got a fishing from the boat 804. What's going on, man? Another another James River angler. Yeah. I've just started seeing them. They just started going being YouTube on YouTube or something. Yeah, he just started recently. Okay. He is new to the community. There you go. Mr. Smith put it up there. Well, I've been needing to do. I've been needing to put uh, people managing the channel. What do you call them? Man, uh, moderators. Moderators. Uh, I had some, but I, I needed to put a bunch in there. That helps so much. Thank you, everybody. Go ahead, Dustin. I apologize. Oh no, I was just going to tell you the manager. There are moderators. Yeah. Monty Sheets is in the house. Mr. Guard Dog himself. Hey, Mr. Monty. Up, Monty. Yeah, I went there. Yeah. I was subscribed to his channel the other day when I seen him on. Ah, I cannot believe it's getting windy. I hate the wind has been up here for so many days now. Yeah, it's a lot less right now than it has been the last four days, though. No, I don't know. It's, it's kicking up pretty good right now. Is it? Yeah. Keep it, keep it up there and loud. Well, watch bar. Watch bar. Above the dam. Loud and probably not windy at all. What's up, Jimmy? How are you doing? Appreciate you dropping by, buddy. Jimmy G. Jimmy, Jimmy G. Mr. Jimmy Jabber. Yeah, I'm all spiffy. Actually, I like wearing my fishing shirts even around the house. They're just so comfortable and cool. Well, I'm gonna start packing everything up. Hey, you're 15 minutes later than you said you was. You just thought any yeah. minute she's gonna get him, didn't you? He kept messing with it. I thought surely he'd, he'd come back to me. Reckon not. What's going Aaron, on, I, I didn't see. Let's see what you put on here, Aaron. Oh, I saw that. I just elected not to read it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes uh -oh. I don't read things. I thought I might have to comment on it, so I figured the best thing to do is just shut up. It's 9.50 a.m. 
nine fifteen on the kids are being in bed now. <laughs> Look at him, now he's gonna hit it, you little butthead. Man. He's mad at a fish to, at getting a bite. Now how's that work out? Just hold that rod in your hand when you feel him just rip. He's not used to that. He's not used to having rods in the water when he's packing up. It's called a pack up bite. Okay. There you go. I've heard of it. <laughs> he's just wearing it out, son. You have nothing but a hollow head when you reel it in. Probably been the lips and gills. Yeah. Lips and gills. I've seen them strip a dang skipjack head, man. Oh, I have to have seen them where it wasn't nothing but just the hollowed out. It's just hollow, totally hollowed out. Getting a bite. Probably got a fish on. Jody's getting a bite. I think I got a fish. We'll see you in a second. Well, we gave you full screen, so you better show up. It's that green one right here. It's the line's moving. Yep, number 2 I right, got the little. That's just the boat moving around. I wouldn't mess with it. I'm getting beat up by some little little pecker. Peck, 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 peck. Just bump, 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 bump. That other green one looks like it's getting a bite also. The one yeah, you just carpenter. moved. You got carpenter catfish in the house. Uh-oh, fish on. There it is. You said not to you mess with it, Gerald. Another strop. Get the net. Get the net. Gerald told her not to mess with it. Look what happened. There you go. Good job. Getting that line. <laughs> That's a skunk buster. Carver catfish, I, I told you it would be. Wait till you use it and cast it, it'll throw them out. It's real smooth, also. That must might have been too big. She got that one in pretty quick. Skunks off the boat for sure. Did you put that pin reel on one of them other rods, carpenter catfish? There we go. Nothing to sneeze at. She tickled me. She puts the fish in her cat. I got too much crap. I ain't got organized yet. But you're gonna sit in that seat. Huh? You're gonna sit in that seat for long. I wipe it off. Yeah, we do behind. <laughs> yeah, he hollowed that head out. There you go, carpet catfish. Shoot, I go to Walmart and just get that Berkeley big games what I use. It's hard to beat Berkeley Big Game. Yep. Cheap. Tough as nails. Tough as nails. And easy to find. Yep. I like their braid, too, for skipjacking. And, uh, it's cheap, too. You get 300 yards for $18. Yep. Exactly. Berkeley Big Game braid. Open that. Everybody guess what this size of this one is right quick before she weighs it. Hey, the first catfish is nine. That's, that's seven. That's what I figure. 7.3. I'm going 5.6. I call guess. that a skunk buster. We got 31 people in here. Everybody guess. Carpenter catfish says 12. I'm going to put it down opposite 7.3. All right, let's get some guessing going on. Joe says 8.2. David just says nice fish. Thank you. Open up. 
mid Tennessee hog snatcher says seven point one. So he's just got between me and Dustin there. There was a couple people who want a prize that couldn't send me an email. I got that fixed, like mid Tennessee hog catcher. You can send me an email with your mail address now. Crappie day fish on. I need his address. Yep. And I think that fish in the boat nine oh four, he might have won a prize too. Eight oh four. 804, yeah. Well, I think that's the one we couldn't figure out. 804, did you buy, did you win the sumo spoons? Because we're trying to figure out what you won if your name is Dustin. We had somebody with the name of Dustin. They won something from sumo, but they didn't put what? Ready for the wait? Yeah. 7.6. I was just doing it. 7.6. Minus two, minus two tenths of a pound for the grippers. So that'd be 7.4. 7. 7. 4. I don't care what they weigh. I'm really on about winning my fish, but I'm not worried about grippers. <laughs> hey, well, let us weigh them way we want to. You just catch the fish. Good job. Nice fish. Thanks. That is carpenter cat. This is a good eater. Yeah. Awesome little channel cat. There you go. 804 said the sumo spoons. Sumo spoons. That's it, what I thought. Okay. Yeah, that's what I had you wrote down for. Yep. So I put sumo spoon with a question mark. You're in Richmond, Virginia, if I'm correct. I got that all Rich right. man. Rich man, he Virginia. Is. He is that. That's all we could figure that it was, was him. So. Well, he wrote sumo, but I didn't yeah. sure that's what it was. It's just, I gave out about five or six sumo things, so I was like, I don't know which one it is. <laughs> yeah. But I got them right here ready to be mailed out. So, that's good. I just tried to get everybody in where I could go to the post office one time. So I've got five out of the, I think I did seven or eight things, but I got five people now. So I'm good. Oh, nice. Carpenter Cafe said he just hit 102 subscribers. Congratulations. Awesome. That made me 58 catfish for the year. I'm catching up. <laughs> I'm at 132. Carpenter Catfish, just keep doing what you're doing. You'll get there. Enjoy the journey. Yeah. Yep. That's right. You gotta crawl before we walk. Yeah, I think he was like at 20 something whenever he won the uh when he won the big fish. Nice. He's the one that won the seven hundred and fifty dollars. Wow. He said he was just working on a dock. He was Yeah. Seven hundred and fifty dollars, two rods and a reel. Wow. Three rods. Excuse me. Three rods in a reel. Good gracious. Yep. That's a good day. Over $1,000 for catching one fish. It's doing pretty good. I went to the doctor today. They're going to send me to therapy. And, yeah, you need uh, therapy, all right. It, 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 shut up. <laughs> James, nobody asked you. <laughs> oh, wrong therapy. There we go. I fixed that. So, uh, <laughs> you know I did, brother. I love you, but dang it, I had to meet you. <laughs> so uh, it's getting better, though. Thanks for asking. It's odd seeing Carpenter Catfish name in there because my last name is Carpenter. But we said pencil and paper is cheap, or open a notepad to save it in. And I got it written down over here. I'm old school. I'm 59 years old. I'm just old school. I resemble that number there, Daryl. Yeah, we're the same age, aren't we, buddy? Man, I'll be 42, in, or I'll be 43 in June. Yeah, that's young, buddy. Wait, it's I know, it. just wait. You're, you're, you'll start breaking down about now. By the time you hit 50, you're going to go, oh, my God, that was really true. Well, now. I'm already breaking down. Oh, what you hit 50, then you'll know it for sure. Oh, that's <laughs> all, boy. I'm not looking forward to that. It sucks. And you go to bed, you go to bed and you're fine, you wake up, you got like a pulled hamstring. 
Oh, get ready to go. And, and plus, you, you you pulled the hamstring getting out of the bed the fifth time to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, or, or, or not like a good leg cramp in the middle of the night for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was awful. Oh. You know, the, the, the good one, it only takes about 45 minutes to get rid of. It takes about 10 minutes just to stand up. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the old folks' home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got you, Carpenter Catfish. He said his last name is Ham, so he knows all about that. Yeah. <laughs> last name is Ham. I knew a, there was a guy on my ship's last name was Ham. First name radio. They kept saying, damn, Ham, hurry up. No. No, his wife. He married. He, he married. He married somebody. His wife's name was Virginia. Virginia Ham. Oh. You can't make that stuff up. Uh, yeah, I used to say, "What are you going to name your kid? Smoked, lean, country." Yeah, country. <laughs> Miss Virginia Ham, please come to the front desk. Sure. He's going to name one of them Sugar too. <laughs> Please, Ham. Come here, <laughs> James. Carpenter said he's watched all your videos. He loves your stuff. Oh, well, thank you, Carpenter. Appreciate it. Glad somebody likes it. <laughs> I, I was going to say something about that, make a joke, but I didn't. Yeah, I knocked yourself out. One of these days, I have somebody tell me they will, and that's going to make my year. <laughs> <laughs> Not just he's 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 what he's the one person that's watched them. <laughs> I was wondering who that was. That makes one of us. Yeah. You put out so many videos, Dustin. I don't have time to watch them. I'm just like, oh, there's another one. Click. They're all shorts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. For some, reason, for some reason, you keep freezing up tonight, Dustin. You you freeze up in a second, and then you'll be okay. It's my laptop. I didn't know if you were running something that you could turn off or whatever. I was just telling you that because I know you're about to go and do your live here in a minute. So I thought I'd tell you if there was something you could do to fix it. Thank you. It wasn't slamming you or trying to make you look bad. Just trying to hit you. I, <laughs> I know. You, I wouldn't expect anything else, Bob. I'm just so how long are they putting you in therapy for, Daryl? About two years? But you don't know, get I didn't ask. <laughs> I figure I'll go, and if I don't like it, I ain't going back. So it don't matter how long they put me in. Oh, they well, they just sit down in the chair and relax, and they'll talk to you real slow and <laughs> bend you and twist you and pull on you and sit on you. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna tell y'all what I want. I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm gonna do when I go in. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna have a ten dollar bill in my hand, and I'm gonna sit down when they get ready to get started. I say, "Hey, don't hang on." They're gonna go, "What's that ten dollar bill for?" I say. Well, I want to be in the office pools too to see how long it takes me to start crying like a baby. I believe that's what them therapists do. See, they take a pool to see how long it, for the new guy to make him feel before like, they break you. Yeah, before he starts screaming, "Mama!" So I have one had me laying on my belly and pushing on my let my knee, trying to push it up against my neck. I'm <laughs> just beating the mat. Like a wrestler trying to break out of trying to tag out. Leg lock. Oh, I'll get oh. I've got mine working pretty decent. I can go up and downstairs with it pretty decent now. So, well, there you go. I mean, what more do you need? You know. Once again, I thought you were talking to a shrink, not a not a knee person. Dang it, James! <laughs> telling everybody, I just I told yeah. you that in confidence. Like that your that that I'm that your last out. two shrinks quit and retired. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> There's no secrets in the catfish community, Daryl. Yeah. yeah. That's right. I seen one, and I walk out, and the guy's going, "Can you say serial, <laughs> serial killer?" <laughs> that was what, that's what James dressed as on Halloween. He put a cereal box around him and was carrying yep. it. Yeah. Told everybody he was a cereal killer. Cereals. Robert Catfish has a question, Daryl. Uh, anybody need a first mate on Sunday? I can tie a good knot, but I can't promise a fish. Uh. It won't be me. 
I say, my, I'm going to give it till about the middle of next week, and I'm going to try to go fishing. But if anybody needs a good mate, there you go. First mate. So if I tell my cast net, am I going to catch some bait? Hey, do you see bait on the monitor? you see it around the boat? Is that's what that is, ain't it? Yeah, I say so. Either that or a thermal. Thermal. Yeah, uh, I mean, it could. It all depends on how to... fast they are. Butterfly and Sunshine said, Daryl, they guide you with the therapy routine, but a lot of success miss, is your decision to do it at home. Well, I've already yeah. been doing a lot of it at home. That's how I've got my knee going the way I've got it going. So they just gave me exercises to do here at the house. So. Stretch. Yeah. They say uh, the the dress says go till it hurts, and that's what I do. And then I'll stretch it a little bit more after it quits hurting, and then I'll stretch it a little more after it quits hurting again. I don't think my lights is put me solo if you don't care. I don't think my lights is bright. They're not bright. Oh, they look pretty bright from here. Aaron, can you go up and downstairs? Uh, yeah, I, I can go up and downstairs pretty doggone good now. Can you to see me, that, was a, that was a measuring stick. I could go. I could go. Yeah, they're, they're, they're bright if you're looking at it from outside. I could go up them pretty decent for a while, but now I can actually start going down them. And that's regular walking down them. That's not one leg in it. You got to start going two steps. Take two steps at a time. Yeah. <laughs> the Bob King is blacked out. He's moving towards the docks. Heading for the dock. 9.32. Guys, we'll be shutting it down at 9.40. Around, nine, I'm sorry, 9.55, 50, whatever. Right in there. So, everybody that's in here, tell them where to go again, Dustin, after we shut down. Team Snag and Whiskers Channel. We will be talking about the Mississippi River with the uh, epic guest, epic catfishing. Very knowledgeable guy. Absolutely. Go over to Team Snag and Whiskers on YouTube. You will definitely learn something tonight. Say that again, Dustin. I was gonna say there's no G. Let me put the let me drop the link again. I'll just drop it to the show. Yeah. Everybody click on that and you'll know where to go. Hit the little bell. See, there's there's Dustin again telling me where I could go. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a choice, James. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, catfish regular said yep i was doing marching today yeah i don't y'all can't see it but like i've been w moving my knee back and forth because it gets sore just leaving it in one place it actually gets sore aaron can probably outrun tom down the dock after this <laughs> tom, i ain't never seen tom run nowhere so that that's that's easily done <laughs> they do a baywatch run baywatch <laughs> That slow mo bouncy thing. Yeah. Once again, we're all past forty. <laughs> yeah. past Fifty. You come February of next year, I'll be right up there at on sixty. Yeah, don't rush it. Sixty is a biggie. That's gonna be like, oh man, sixty. Can I even get up in the morning still? Jerry, they they told me why. Yeah. Dude. They told me why they didn't do a total today, but it's a long story, but I, I, I understand it. There you go. Everybody click on Team Snagging, snagging Whiskers. At 10 o'clock tonight? Snagging, not snagging. Snagging Thank Whiskers. You. A little snaggly. Sneaky little snag. He's got to get a little snaggly tonight. Get a little snagging. He's going <laughs> to snag some folks He's right a in snaggly there. snaggly little whisker. <laughs> <laughs> little snaggling. Little snaggling, little but I do appreciate it. It's such a blessing. 
I appreciate <laughs> Dustin coming in and helping out for sure. Absolutely. You should black a tooth out, Dustin. What's that? You snaggle fist. <laughs> snaggle. Sneaky little snaggler. He's a slippery little slimy snaggly whisker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, even Tom. LG <laughs> Bass is in the house. The cat. Bass Man. <laughs> the Doc Master. So the link I dropped in the chat is um, the link to the show. That'll take you directly to our show tonight. To the show. And I would, if I knew how, I'd connect this one to yours, but I know they do that, but I don't know how it's done. Right? You have to do it in the studio. Okay. I know how. Hey, okay. Dustin knows how. I do know how. You can tell. It's just a one little click. Copy and paste. One little, one little clicky. One little yeah, if you go to, uh, if you go to YouTube click. Studio on your computer. Okay. I can't do it then here. Uh, okay. I was going to it on my phone. Well, if you can get to the desktop version on your phone, it's a little harder. Yeah, I can't do it. Get to that. Let's see. So give me a username. Don't take care of it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll learn it and do it next time. If they do it, yeah, that way fine. I can help people out that way too. Of course, I'm sure all these people in here are familiar names. So I'm sure they're going over there anyway. So. Hey, Michelle's in here. It's all mine. Hey, Michelle and Tom's in here. How y'all doing? He said, I have counters. I saw oh, it. There you go. Mm -hmm. I saw I the saw it. <laughs> In another two weeks, she's going to actually have a backsplash on those cabs. <laughs> Time she gets everything put together, the cabs will be old, and I'll be back over there changing them out again. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Tom said, I can outrun Aaron with one leg tied, but one leg behind my uh, opposite ear. Don't matter how much bionic he is. <laughs> mercy. How mercy. And smack talk. Hey, how come? I don't understand why the smack talking always gets going on my channel. I mean, I don't Yo, yeah, who knows? Who knows, who knows why that would happen? Guys, this has been a good actually live. We've had a lot of white bass caught. We didn't have any caught on chicken, free line and chicken. But, uh, I had a lot of white bass caught. Jody caught a big striper, 20 pound striper. Then she caught a seven pound, what was it, four, five, four ounce catfish. Blue so cat. It's been a good hey, night. Dad, yes, you sir. You know what we call that? What's that? Clickbait. Clickbait. <laughs> 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 did you like the, did you see the chicken down there? No, oh, I, I did. I thought that was a pretty good one. Get him, Jody. Jody had another one on, folks. I think it just did it, 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 it. All right, I'm going to pop out of here. I will see you all shortly. All right, buddy. All right. Appreciate it. I'll come over for a little bit, but I got to get in bed early because of that baby. He went to bed at 8. Understood. I'll talk to you all later. All right, buddy. Thanks. Later, Justin. Later. All right, now he's gone, y'all. We're not stopping. No, dang it. No, yeah, we're going right through the midnight. No. I think it was this green one back here. Mr. Smith said, I've seen Tom run that dock. He can move. Mm. The only thing yeah. about it, you get that much going across that dock at the end, it's hard to stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Christian Mid South said, How much you charge to tighten up that one rod, Tom? Or James, excuse me. Yeah, I got a couple that are loose, but if I tighten them up, then everything's under the boat because I'm swinging around so much. Bob, you about ready to shut it out? You Bob, you about ready to go? Oh, there he's back it again. Get him. He's a little. He's a baby. He's yeah. a baby. The big one don't hit it twice like that and still not hook up. He hit it hard though. They do that grab and rip. They grab a little bit of the bait and then they're trying to rip their head around to rip the piece of bait off. Yes. They ain't too big to get in their mouth. Mm -hmm. The bite and tear. Camp Jordan. 
Are you talking about the uh, fishing for kids deal that they're about to uh, do here in about a month yeah. and a half? When's the next gathering, Daryl? I, I don't have that date down yet. I'm going to announce that. I, I, one thing is I have to wait till it's one year before I can actually do it because I'm actually going to do this from the end of the second week of May. So it's going to still be another week or two before I can make sure I get the date I want before I can announce it. Gotcha. I mean, I'm pretty sure of it, but it, it should be the second weekend in, in May this time. I'm going back to what we did originally. Because look how great the, the fish are biting right now. <laughs> yeah, they're just really tearing it up here. Bob? Yeah. You be out of here? Huh? Are you out of here? Yeah, I'm on the trailer now. All right, buddy. Be safe. All right, guys. Be safe. Hey, thanks for having me up. I enjoyed it, bud. I appreciate you coming up. Have a good buddy. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. God bless. Yep. God bless. I got a question. I got two of these missing on my boat. That goes on the bottom of the floor where the seat was at. Yeah. And I don't know what they're called or how to find them to replace it. So I just got holes in the floor up front. You just get you just get a deck cover little thing. You just measure how big they are and they sell them on Amazon. Or you could try to put a cup holder in there or something, but I mean, I just get a deck cover, deck plate cover thing. Well, I had one back here at one time, and my neck got snagged on all the time, so I didn't want to go. That's because the screws weren't in all the way, though. Yeah. They didn't have those like screws that set in. The heads were sticking up, so yeah, that'd be a pain. It was actually an electrical hole cover that I used. It's all I could find at Walmart. Yeah, uh, Carpenter Catfish, we're uh, actually myself and let me, re let me reposition this. Uh, myself and uh, Woody and Russ, I know, is going to help with that uh, Catfish Rodeo. Uh, that's the one where we gave all the stickers at the, at the gathering. So I volunteered to help with that. So we'll be helping do that. There's gonna be a hundred and I think they're allowing a hundred and ten kids. I got an email today or a text on today. Hundred and ten yeah. kids to take part. Uh, That's so, a lot of kids. Yeah. It's the catfish rodeo, you know. I was telling you about we're helping at uh June the 10th. Mayor's catfish rodeo. I might be interested in helping out. Well, oh, that's going to be. Uh, we have to be there around seven thirty in the morning. It's going. It's from eight till ten. They're going to do registration. What we'll be doing is helping kids get the catfish off the hooks and putting out buckets. Just helping whatever we need to do. So they're going to have age. The age limit is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So uh, it's going to be a fun thing. It's in Rossville, Georgia. I wish Haz was watching. Yeah. I need but, some why? I need some spooks. <laughs> anyway, they're gonna have they're gonna allow a le 110 kids to enter that. So we're gonna have fun with that one. Yep. Hopefully it's gonna be done by then. Because there's gonna be a lot of kids there. I know that one rod going the wrong way. Oh, right on. This rod's got like four or five on my lines. <laughs> that could be why I'm not catching anything. Sucks for you. <laughs> yep, that looks like that looks like four baits there, so that's uh four rods. Yep. I'm blowing around in circles though, not too much I could do about that. I'm worried about your line management. <laughs> oh yeah. I thought it was the hookup mm -hmm. ratio. Which one is it now? <laughs> no, no hookup ratio if I ain't getting bit because they're all tangled up. <laughs> this looks like a Jody mess here. <laughs> I rarely get mine tangled. Yeah, oh yeah. 
Hey Corey, how many how many docks do y'all build a year? Y'all must build a bunch of them. I think there's supposed to be 300 dumped in there from what I was told. It'll be 8 to 11 inch long. They were going to get 11 to 17, but it was too expensive. But the kids will enjoy it either way. 120 Bass Pro Shop buckets will be given out. <laughs> Oh, I I'll identify as 11. <laughs> they're stocking 400 in there, so they must have put 200 in there. They'll probably come back and put another 200 in there. So, Corey, you, you just got to see half of them put in. There's going to be another 200 put in. My toe's getting cold. I'm going to put my shoes on. That's what that smell was. That's my stank bait. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably what they did then was Corey was put 200 in. They'll put another 200 in. That's good. It'll get them acclimated to the, the pond because, like I say, they got a few months. They got a, over a month till it starts. So they got them in there early. That's good, though. Yeah. Well, they probably see it. That pond's only open once a month. So they probably putting it in and then nobody will get to fish it till the kids get to fish it. So yeah. Oh, they, yeah. Where we live, they do our own out of park like that. And then everybody goes, you walk up there after, mm -hmm. the, after it's closed and then they fish it out that night before. Mm -hmm. And then the kids can barely catch anything. Right. Cause everybody's done fished it all out. And the kids aren't even keeping the fish. Why can't they just wait till after right. the free fishing day? For the kids. Right. June the 10th. Yeah, what they're going to do is let people fish afterwards. Yeah. They can come in there afterwards because they need to catch a bunch of those out anyway. Yep. Because if not, it, they're just going to die. So they're, they're going to let people come in after 10 o'clock and fish more. Mm -hmm. I don't know how big that lake is, but 400 uh, catfish in there. Hopefully, they'll be feeding them some before. <laughs> I'll be feeding them whatever they're used to eating, being raised. Dog food or fish food. Yeah. Thanks, Joe. Actually, Jay Reed is per pretty much the guy in, in charge of it. He's the one that keeps giving me all the information. We just got a lot of stuff up uh, at the gathering to give to the kids. And actually... Uh, FOA gave some rods and everything else. Freddie's a good guy. He he gave a bunch. So, and we're going to try to help them out. Fredina. Oh, I bet they will, Corey. All right, guys, it's 949. We're going to close out here in just a minute. Jody, are y'all going to go back live anytime tonight or just fish i don't never know with us yeah i, I gotta be up early to fish with ryan Bortz in the morning so probably i won't stay out late you're gonna fish with ryan or with who ryan Bortz. so is he gonna get on your boat yeah oh he's gonna show you some tips huh we're going skipjacking oh okay i think james is going i guess I yep it's mine since you can fish off the front and back, but I don't know. Well, I hope y'all caught up. Catch so many, you got to give me about three coolers full. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get my bait license. Awesome. We've got 27 people still, still in here. I want to say thank you to everybody that came in and that's, uh, liked and shared it out and everything like that. I really appreciate that. And all you guys that uh, the moderators, I'm glad I made a bunch of new moderators tonight where all these links could be shared out. That's awesome of everybody doing that. I always want to try to help each other out if we can. Try to 
love each other, not show a bunch of hate for sure. But I appreciate everybody. Thank Jody and, and James for coming on and Bob and Dustin. Everybody come in and help out. I was bored and about to go crazy sitting here, not being able to do anything with my knee. I've sort of got down and out toward the first of the week, but built myself back up. And I'm planning on, I'm either going to go with James or Brandon next week, scoring how my knee feels. If I think I can make the ride up there, or if James is going to let me come up there, it's probably going to be towards the end of the week. Probably won't, be, probably, probably won't be well enough to take my own boat out, but I'm going to get in the boat with somebody, I promise. You going to let me go with you next week, James? Sure. Just let me know. I appreciate it. Thank you, uh, Butterflies and Sunshine. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm going to do my best to get everything going. Hey, no problem there, Corey. You deserve it. You caught the ball. Thank you, uh, Tom. All right, with that, I want to say good evening, everybody. I hope you have a great. God bless everybody. I hope everybody stays safe out there. Jody and James, y'all be safe. I'm glad y'all oh, yeah. close to each other. Of course, James' boat won't crank up. Yeah, Jody, probably won't crank up or something. She can yeah, tell me Jody, Jody can tell you in and all that stuff. So, <laughs> y'all have a good night. We're going to close out. Everybody go over and see uh, Team Snag and Wilson. Uh, fishing for Whiskers got the link right there. So everybody jump over there and say hello to them. Let them know you came from over here and that we had a great night. So good night. Love you. See you later. Fish on! <laughs> yeah.